games. Henderson State is 4-3 and three overall and also 2-0 and oh in conference play. The Reddies have also been idle for nine days. Henderson State defeated the University of Arkansas at Monticello 64-61 on December the 3rd for its third win in its last four games. These are two teams that do their best work in the paint. It will be physical. It will be a measure of toughness, and it will determine which one of these teams will start 3-0 and in the GAC. Thank you for joining us from the Alathus Realty Broadcast position. We'll break for one minute and then come back with the starting lineups. This is Arkansas Tech Basketball. It's that time of year again to start thinking about reviewing your Medicare plan. Hi, I'm Mike Giroux with Giroux and Associates and Medicare Specialists of Arkansas, reminding you to take the time to allow a local agent to assist you with your Medicare plan review. Choosing the wrong plan can cause you to spend money unnecessarily, cause you to lose valuable benefits, or cause you to have to change the provider you currently use. Don't be fooled by the misleading commercials on TV. Call a local agent to assist you with finding a plan that best meets your needs. I'm your local Medicare Specialist. Call me at 479-857-2810. Hi, everybody. This is Chris George from Joshua's Fine Jewelry in beautiful downtown Rushville. It's the most exciting time of the year. Joshua's Red Tag Sale is absolutely the best time to buy your holiday gifts. And this year, we've added a very few gold tags on super special items that are especially good deals, waiting for just the right person to come and get them. At Joshua's, we have a great selection of red tag and now gold tag items so you can get your perfect Christmas gift without breaking the bank this year. Come see us at Joshua's Fine Jewelry in beautiful downtown Russell. Do you need your wisdom or other teeth removed? Do you have a toothache? Are you considering dental implants to replace missing teeth or to help anchor a denture? Be sure to see Dr. Forrest Bale for a no out-of-pocket consultation at Lakeside Oral Facial and Dental Implant Surgery. Lakeside is contracted with many insurance companies and has multiple financing options to minimize your out-of-pocket costs. Have your oral surgery in a caring, state-of-the-art facility right here in Russellville. Visit their website at lakesideoms.com. The story in for Miller Ruffing Company reminding you. Casey Tracy Gardnell Russellville. River Country. Casey Tracy. These are the starters for the 177th men's basketball meeting between these two institutions of higher learning. First for our guests. From the loveliest village on the Washita River, Arkadelphia, Arkansas, the Henderson State Reddies. They are 4-3 and three this year, 2-0 and oh in the Great American Conference. Jimmy Elgus is in his eighth season as the Reddies head coach. His record there is 113-89. and 89. Starting at the guards, Alvin Miles, 5'11", junior, Memphis, Tennessee, 9.9 .9 points, 2.4 rebounds, 4.4 assists. Frank Camgain, 6'3", senior, Kansas City, Missouri, 13.7 points, 3.3 rebounds. And Malik Riddle, a 6'4 graduate student from Holly Springs, Mississippi, 10.6 points and 5.1 rebounds. The forward for Henderson State is Ryan Boyce, 6'7 senior, Memphis, Tennessee, 6 points, 3.7 rebounds, 1.1 block shots per game. And the center is Tomislav Miholcic, a 6'11 senior from Belgrade, Serbia, Miholcic averaging 8.6 points and 5.4 rebounds. Now the starters for the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys, 4-4 four four overall, 2-0 and oh in the Great American Conference. Mark Downey in his seventh season at Arkansas Tech has a record of 98-76 and 76. in his 16th season as a head coach overall. Coach Downey is 264 and 182. Nathan Kennedy is his assistant coach. Dusan Radovojevic is the graduate assistant, and the volunteer assistants are Marcus Pillow and Brent Bennett. Starting at the guards, Deshaun Davidson, 6'3", senior, Waukegan, Illinois, 5.9 points, 2.4 rebounds, and one steal per game. Andre Lavelle, 6'2", sophomore, Canton, Ohio, 7.4 points, 4.4 rebounds, and 2.5 assists. And Talon Peter, a six foot four sophomore from Russellville, 15.4 points, 4.9 rebounds, and two steals per game. The forwards for Arkansas Tech are Tommy Camarad, a six eight sophomore from Buford, Georgia, 4.4 points, and 2.3 rebounds per game. 
and Nico Gosnell, a six foot nine senior from Lone Tree, Iowa. In his second game of the season, he had two points and four rebounds in his season debut against Washita nine days ago. Those are the starters for the Reddies and the Wonder Boys. Back to the Alathus Realty broadcast position for the opening tip in 30 seconds. This is Arkansas Tech basketball. Johnny Story in for Miller Rupp and Company reminding you Shingle Bells continues in 2022. Every Christmas season, Miller Rupp and Company donates a new roof to a deserving family or individual. Nominations are being received through December 15th. So if you know someone who needs a roof, send a picture of the home and a letter telling their story to P.O. Box 1317 Russellville 72811 or email it to info at MillerRoofing.com. <laughs> Back with you from the Alathus Realty broadcast position at Tucker Coliseum in Russellville. Henderson State leads the all-time series between these two men's basketball programs, 92-84. to But the Wonder Boys swept the season series last year, defeating the Reddies 84-78 to in overtime at Arkadelphia on December 11, 2021. And then on senior night on February 25th of 2022, the Wonder Boys defeated Henderson State 79-65. to here in Russellville, the Wonder Boys trying for their first five-game win streak since they won eight in a row from November 2017 through January of 2018. Arkansas Tech and Henderson State, two teams that really hang their hat on the defensive end of the floor. The Wonder Boys second in the GAC in scoring defense, holding their opponents to 63.8 points per game. Henderson State fourth in the league in scoring defense at 67.7 points per game. And Arkansas Tech, really the big key, Kelly, is trying to find a little bit of production from the three-point arc, from that Mr. Break and Lube three-point arc. Arkansas Tech making just 22.9% of its tries this year and averaging just 4.5 made three-pointers per contest and knocking down a few shots from the perimeter early on could loosen up this Henderson State defense just a little bit. Yeah, I'll tell you what, and even even that percent is, is a lot better compared to the first four games of the year where they really struggled, you know, trying to make a bucket a bucket anywhere on the court. So uh, so the shooting is getting better and better every game. So let's hope it get, continues that. Thomas Loft Miholcic and Nico Gosnell will contest the opening tip, and it's time for basketball at Tucker Coliseum. The opening tip is controlled by the Reddies. And into the front court on the dribble for Henderson State comes Alvin Miles, who is second in the Great American Conference and assists this year at 4.4 per game. Boyce with it on the right wing. Throws it out top of the key for Frank Camgain. Camgain defended by Taylor Peter. Man-to-man -man defense for Arkansas Tech. Miholchit sets the ball screen for Miles. They swing it left side for Camgain. Camgain, 12th in the league in scoring, gets to the free throw line. Throws it out to Miles. Miles dribbles left, picks it up three to shoot. Feeds Miholchich, left-handed jump hook is no good. Nico Gosnell forced the miss, and Talon Peter rebounded it. Outlet pass for Andre Lavelle. High ball screen set by Gosnell. Lavelle drives and dishes for Camerad. Out it goes to Deshaun Davidson. Davidson goes right. Guarded there by Malik Riddle of Henderson State. Jumper up and no good for Deshaun Davidson. Camerad fights for the rebound, but it's Ryan Boyce of Henderson State who comes away with it. Outlet pass for Malik Riddle. Riddle, who normally wears number 13 for the Red, he's wearing number one here tonight. Dribbles to the top of the key, passes left wing for Miles. Now Cam Gain with it at the left corner. Cam Gain gets to the left elbow, backs it out, and gives it to Malik Riddle. Riddle in his third year with the Reddies after transferring in from Moorhead State. They give it to Miholchis at the top of the key. Thomas Loft Miholchis hands it back to Miles. Miles turns the corner, bounce pass, deflected and stolen by Tommy Camerad. Outlet for Lavelle. Lavelle to the rim, left-handed layup, no good, and a blocking foul against Henderson State. The blocking foul is whistled against the Reddies' Malik Riddle. It is his first personal foul, team foul number one, and Andre Lavelle on his way to the A Better Way Realty free throw line for two shots. Lavelle, so far this season, is 8 out of 17, 47% at the free throw line. First try up and no good for Lavelle. Lavelle broke out of a little bit of a scoring slump down at Washita on December 30. He had 13 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists, 2 steals. He was 4 of 5 from the field in his previous two games before that when he had been 1 out of 9 from the field. 
He makes the second free throw, goes one out of two at the A Better Way Realty free throw line, and it is one to nothing, Arkansas Tech. Reddy's beat the full court pressure, riddled into the front court, poked away in the front court, and stolen by Andre Lavelle. Lavelle pushes it back to the offensive end for Arkansas Tech, and Nico Gosnell setting the ball screen. Cam Gain trying to fight through that screen, and they call Cam Gain for the foul. The transfer from the University of Missouri at Kansas City picks up his first personal foul. And it is team foul number two on the Reddies. Inbound pass comes to Andre Lavelle. Lavelle passes left wing for Taylor Peter. Peter averaging 18 points per game over his last six. Had his 15-footer blocked by Ryan Boyce. Camerad tried to get the offensive rebound, but it goes out of his hands and out of bounds. And the basketball belongs to Henderson State with 18 minutes and 12 seconds to go in the first half. And Arkansas Tech leading one to nothing. Full court pressure. The Reddies throw it ahead to Alvin Miles. Miles goes all the way to the rim. Lavelle blocks his shot out of bounds. And the Reddies will maintain possession. And Andre Lavelle has clearly come to play here defensively tonight for Arkansas Tech. The inbound pass will be made by Alvin Miles. Miles gives it to Riddle on the left baseline. Pass out to the top of the key for Ryan Boyce. Feed into the post for Miholcic. Miholcic uses the ball fake to get Gosnell off of his feet. And then Nico comes back down on Miholcic. The foul on Nico Gosnell is his first personal foul. Team foul number one on the Wonder Boys. And Tomislav Miholcic is on his way to the free throw line to shoot two for the Reddies. Miholcic is 12 of 16, 75% at the free throw line this year. First try for Miholcic on its way and good. He is a career 59% free throw shooter. Miholcic averaging 10 points per game in conference play. Seven out of 10 from the field in those two conference games, which for Henderson State have been wins over UA Monticello and Southern Arkansas. Miholcic made the first free throw. His second try is also good. 18-0-1 to go first half, and the Reddies grab the lead at 2-1. Inbound pass for Andre Lavelle. Darrell Roberts is in the game for Arkansas Tech. Six foot seven, senior forward from Dallas, Texas. Drive by Deshaun Davidson, gets underneath the goal, throws it out to Roberts for three, too strong. Rebound out of bounds. Last touch by Tommy Camerad of Arkansas Tech. And the basketball belongs to Henderson State. The Wonder Boys will set up their full court press. Inbound to Alvin Miles. Miles will bring it into the front court. He had 14 points, five rebounds, two assists. And their win on December 3rd at UA Monticello, 64-61, was that final score. Miles walked at the basketball. Went to, we wanted to make a pass to yep. Riddle at the top of the key and then thought twice about it. And in that process, he walked. Henderson State commits its third turnover. And into the front court come the Wonder Boys. Andre Lavelle at the controls. Being guarded at the top of the key by Alvin Miles. Gets a high ball screen from Camerad. Goes to the left elbow. Throws it out to Taylor and Peter. Peter being defended by Frank Camgain. Feed to Davidson. Out to Roberts. On to Lavelle. Fakes the three. And then he drug his pivot foot. Turnover Arkansas Tech is its second. We've played almost three minutes and we still haven't seen a made field goal. Henderson State 0 for 2 from the field with three turnovers. Arkansas Tech 0 for 3 with two turnovers. A little tight right now. And some awfully good defense as well. Ryan Boyce gets a step on his defender, goes into the lane, runs over. Camerad, no whistle. Pass to the left wing, three-point try on the way, and short for Cam Gain. Offensive rebound, Miholcic. Put back try, good for Tomislav Miholcic. And now let's see what we've got. I believe we've got a flop against Arkansas Tech. We're going to call a flop on Tommy Camerad. That'll be a technical foul and one shot for Henderson State. So the basket counts for Miholcic on the putback. Now Alvin Miles will shoot the technical foul shot with 16.54 remaining. It is up, it is good. And Henderson State leads 5-1. to one. Wonder Boys will inbound the basketball against full court pressure. With Henderson State now leading 5-1. to one. A Free throw by Alvin Miles, his first point of the game. He becomes the first ready, other than Thomas Lofty Holchich, to score a point. Pass to the right wing for Taylor Peter. He gives it to Darrell Roberts at the top of the key. Roberts bounce pass left wing for Andre Lavelle. Now Deshaun Davidson with the basketball. Davidson goes right, bounce pass in the corner for Camerad. 18-foot jumper is no good. The Wonder Boys have missed their first four field goal tries. Henderson State the other way. Alvin Miles 
Dribbles right, tries to turn the corner. Lavelle won't let him. They swing it left side for Riddle. Three-pointer is no good. Offensive rebound, Miholcic. Put-back try is no good. Rebound loose underneath the goal. And Deshaun Davidson able to poke it out to Taylor Peter. Behind the back dribble at midcourt. Peter leaves it with the trailer level. Or should say Lavelle back to Peter for three. No good. And Tomislav Miholcic with the defensive rebound. His third rebound here in the first four minutes of the game. Miholcic stands 6 foot 11. Bounce pass to the left wing for Alvin Miles. Ball screen set by Miholcic. They pass left baseline for Boyce. A long two-pointer is short. Rebounded by Tommy Camerad of Arkansas Tech. Wonder Boys the other way, looking for their first made field goal. They're 0 for 5 so far. Camerad passes right wing for Lavelle. Lavelle zips it left corner for Camerad. His three-pointer is good! Tommy Camerad with the Mr. Break and Lube three-pointer from the left corner. He cuts the Henderson State lead to 5 to 4. I'll tell you what, good ball movement, good shot. Tommy is going to have a quickness advantage on Miholcic, yeah. and so if if Camerad can do a good job moving without the basketball, he should get some open shots, much like that one. Ryan Boyce for three. It is good from the top of the key for Ryan Boyce. Henderson State with its first three-pointer. 15.07 to go first half, and the Reddies lead 8-4. to four. It'll be Andre Lavelle to bring it into the front court for Arkansas Tech. Guarded all the way by Alvin Miles. Camerad ready with the high ball screen. Lavelle uses it to go all the way to the cup. Layup is good and a foul. Ryan Boyce will be called for the foul as he tried to protect the rim, but Andre Lavelle was just too quick, and Lavelle will shoot a free throw when we come back. 14 minutes and 47 seconds to go at Tucker Coliseum in the first half. Timeout on the floor with Henderson State leading 8-6 to six at the Alathus Realty broadcast position. It's a one-minute break. This is Arkansas Tech Basketball. Why trust River Valley Tinting and Glass? Well, River Valley Tinting and Glass is a family-owned business, and they take care of their customers like family, too. So remember, your local auto, residential, and commercial glass and tinting company, River Valley Tinting and Glass. Check out their work on Facebook or call 890-5839 to get an estimate. Or you can always come by 2202 East 2nd Street to see all they can do for you. From a business you can trust, River Valley Tinting and Glass. Are tree branches threatening your home, or do you have a tree that you just need removed? I have a solution for you. TreeWise Tree Guys, tree work experts. TreeWise Tree Guys uses the latest in tree climbing and rigging techniques, meaning no heavy equipment or driving in your yard. Just guys climbing and dragging your trees out of there. If you have a tree that needs work, and you're looking for a low-impact solution that will preserve your landscaping, give us a call. 479-222-0793. TreeWise Tree Guys. 14 minutes and 47 seconds remaining in the first half. Henderson State 8 and Arkansas Tech 6. The Wonder Boys are 2 out of 7 from the floor. Henderson State 2 out of 8. Our Jerry's Crew kid of the game was a young man that I'm fairly familiar with, Seth Streisner. If you would like for your child to have a chance to be a Jerry's Crew kid of the game, you can get them signed up right now by going to atualumni.com slash Crew. Your child can be a member of the crew for Jerry the Bulldog, our campus ambassador at Arkansas Tech. End of the game for the Wonder Boys is Calvin Allen, a 5'11 senior guard from Little Rock. Allen averaging two points, 1.3 rebounds, and one assist per game. Into the front court on the dribble after camera, I should say, after uh, the three-point play was completed by Andre Lavelle with that free throw. Henderson State's lead now cut to a single point. Alvin Miles dribbles on the left wing. Defended by Allen, throws it out front for Malik Riddle. Riddle drives, layup is short. Rebounded for Arkansas Tech by Darrell Roberts. It's three on three the other way. Allen leaves it with Roberts. Darrell passed up a three, throws it opposite wing for Peter. Talon fakes the three, drives, throws it back out to Calvin Allen. Allen guarded by Frank Camgain. Allen calls the play. Gosnell sets the high ball screen. Camgain goes over it to stay with Allen. Pass left wing for Roberts. On the corner for B.J. Johnson. We'll get B.J. properly introduced in a moment. On to Gosnell. Nico to the rim. Layup up and good for Nico Gosnell. He gets his first two points of the game and gives Arkansas Tech the lead at 9-8. The Wonder Boys have scored the last five points, and Arkansas Tech has made three consecutive field goal tries. Top of the key, Malik Riddle. Hands it off to Frank Camgain. 
Cam Gain defended by B.J. Johnson. Johnson, a 6'3 sophomore guard from El Dorado, averaging 5.1 points and 4.3 rebounds per game. Layup up and good for the Reddies at the 13-35 mark. And Henderson State regains the lead at 10-9 on the bucket by Frank Cam Gain. Cam Gain gets his first two points of the game. Cam Gain came in averaging 13.7 points per game. He is the, le the Reddies' leading scorer this year. Gosnell backs down his defender, takes K.J. Stewart to the rim, and lays it up and in. Nico Gosnell has scored the Wonder Boys' last four points. And Arkansas Tech back in the lead at 11-10. Now a steal by Darrell Roberts. Outlet pass for B.J. Johnson. Johnson ahead to Peter, back to Johnson. He picks up his dribble, throws it to Talon Peter. Peter steps back for three. It is too strong, and the defensive rebound taken away by Alvin Miles of Henderson State. Miles in his second year with the Reddies after transferring in from Eastern Oklahoma State College, and as he makes his way to the basket, he is fouled. It's a holding foul on the Wonder Boys, team foul number two against Arkansas Tech. Alvin, Alvin Allen gets his first personal foul. And both sides make changes. Let's reset the lineup. Says it's a lot of changes. Tommy Camerad, B.J. Johnson, Calvin Allen, Deshaun Davidson, and Jonathan Mercera are the five for Tech. Mercera making his debut in tonight's game, a six-foot-five freshman guard from Willemstead, Curacao. Inbound pass for Henderson State's Josh Mason, and Mason knocks down a long two. They say it's a long two from the left corner for Josh Mason, and it puts Henderson State back in the lead at 12 to 11. Into the front court, Calvin Allen. Allen dribbles to the top of the key. Allen defended for Henderson State by another new face in the game, Che Smith. Right baseline jumper by Camerad is short. Offensive rebound, B.J. Johnson. Out to Deshaun Davidson for three. It is good. Deshaun Davidson with the Mr. Break and Lou three-pointer. And Arkansas Tech leads 14 to 12. Over the time on the dribble comes Che Smith, six-foot sophomore guard from Little Rock. He averages 1.8 points per game. Josh Mason, we haven't introduced him yet. He is a six foot two junior guard from Nixon, Missouri, averaging 2.5 points per game. Zion Patterson also in for the Reddies. 6'7 junior guard. Cross it, 6.6 .6 points per game. Patterson takes the ball from Chase Smith. It's poked away by Deshaun Davidson. Stolen by Calvin Allen. And let's see what they've got. Allen had taken possession before the shot clock expired. Let's see what we've got. It's going to be the Wonder Boys basketball when we come back, and I believe it's going to be a timeout called by Arkansas Tech. 11 minutes and 44 seconds to go in the first half. Arkansas Tech 14, Henderson State 12 at the Alathus Realty broadcast position. It's a one-minute break. This is Arkansas Tech basketball. Marvis Co-op located in Russell. Don't forget their Danville location. Mike Apples along, Mike, it is that time of year when feed is very, very important. It sure is, and uh, make sure that uh, you've got your animal's needs taken care of, uh, protein levels met, and all those things that you, that you look for uh, when it comes this time of year. Farmers Co-op, we're located on East Main and Russellville. Don't forget their Danville location. Bellner's Athletes Corner, your high-performance athletic store for quality athletic footwear and apparel features Nike, Under Armour, The North Face, Patagonia, Oakley, Saucony, New Balance, Brooks, Asics, Kavu, Keen, and many, many more. Bellner's invites you to make them your first stop. With more than 50 years combined experience, the familiar faces at Bellner's can help you with all your athletic needs. Bellner's Athletes Corner, 2320 West Main, Russellville, open 930 until 6, Monday through Saturday. 11 minutes and 44 seconds remaining in the first half. Arkansas Tech 14, Henderson State 12, we believe is the score. There is still a considerable conversation taking place across the way to determine exactly what the score is. All three officials and both benches involved in the conversation. And now I think they are going to get the score corrected to 14 to 12. B.J. Johnson, Nico Gosnell, Calvin Allen, Deshaun Davidson, Break the huddle for Arkansas Tech along with Jonathan Mercera. Also, interestingly, when we went to timeout, there were 11 minutes and 40. Now they've got it right. There were 11 minutes and 44 <laughs> seconds left, and they had, in trying to get the score right, they'd accidentally set the clock to 12 minutes. Now they've got that right, back to 11:44. We've got the best table crew in the Great American Conference. You give them just a second, they'll get it right. Now we've all we're set to go. Into the front court come the Wonder Boys, up by two. 
nearing the midpoint of the first half here at Tucker Coliseum in Russellville. B.J. Johnson hands it off to Calvin Allen, pass to the right wing for Mercera. The Subiaco Academy product throws it out near midcourt for Allen. Shot clock at 10, pass left wing for Davidson. Davidson gets a pick from Gosnell, steps back for three, too strong. Defensive rebound by Chase Smith of Henderson State. Reddy's into the front court. Smith had two points against UAM on December 3rd, played 10 minutes, did not score against Southern Arkansas on December the 1st. Chase Smith in his first year with the Reddies is a transfer from the University of St. Mary. Played his high school ball at Episcopal Collegiate. Yeah. Pass deflected by Arkansas Tech's Calvin Allen, stolen by Mercera. Ahead to Allen on the transition, and the layup is up and good for Calvin Allen. Allen with his first two points of the game. 10.47 left in the first half, and Arkansas Tech leads 16-12. to Just to wrap up that introduction of Chase Smith, he played his high school ball at Episcopal Collegiate in Little Rock. That means his high school coach was Wonder Boy All-American Brandon Friedel. There you go. He was a dandy. Dribbling on the right wing for Henderson State, Zion Patterson. Reddies find themselves down by four. Chase Smith pass into the corner for Zion Patterson. Three-pointer is short. Thomas Lofmi Holchich appeared to have the offensive rebound, but he had to push off to get there. Miholchich commits the foul, his first. It is team foul number three. I should say team foul number four on the Reddies. And it will give the basketball to Arkansas Tech. Changes for the Wonder Boys. Tommy Camerad is back in, as is Andre Lavelle. So it's Lavelle, Camerad, Deshaun Davidson, B.J. Johnson, and Jonathan Mercera. Now the five on the floor for Arkansas Tech. And into the front court come the Wonder Boys, leading 16-12. to 12. Arkansas Tech has made six of its last nine field goal tries after missing five in a row to get things started. Camerad. Backs his defender down. Turn around in the lane is no good, but a whistle and a foul against Tim McDonald of Henderson State. McDonald is a six foot five sophomore guard from Marion, averaging 1.7 points and 2.9 rebounds per game. The foul on McDonald, his first. And his own Smith. Oh, the Chase Smith instead. Smith. Okay. okay. All right. So leave McDonald at zero fouls and put Chase Smith at one. Chase snuck in on you on the other side. Camerad to the free throw line, the A Better Way Realty free throw line. He makes the first one. Camerad's first trip to the line tonight. Tommy came into the night 12 out of 15, 80% at the free throw line. Wonder Boys as a team, just over 62% at the free throw line this season, which ranks 11th among the 12 members of the Great American Conference. Second free throw try was no good, but I believe we have a lane violation against Henderson State. That will give Tommy Camerad a second try at his second free throw. Like the old NBA, two to, three to make two. <laughs> second try for Camerad as he looks for what his. What was that, the ABA? I don't know, that's before, that's before my time, Kelly. I'm going to lean on you for goodness. that. Free throw is good for Camerad. He ends up making them both, and it's 18-12, to 12, Arkansas Tech. Full court pressure, Chase Smith with it in the backcourt, being harassed by B.J. Johnson, gets it over the timeline with two seconds to spare. Now he's double teamed, B.J. Johnson ties it up. What a job by B.J. Johnson to stay with that double team and get a hand on the basketball and get possession for Arkansas Tech. It'll go into the books as turnover number seven for Henderson State. They've turned it over seven times in the first 10 minutes and 12 nice. seconds. Good defense right there. Deshaun Davidson passes left wing for B.J. Johnson. Reversal to Camerad. He zips it down low for Mercera. Layup good for Jonathan Mercera. Mercera gets his first two points. It's 20 to 12. Arkansas Tech has now scored the last seven, or I should say, last nine points in this ball game. Drive layup by Chase Smith is good. That stops the nine to nothing run for Arkansas Tech, and it cuts the Wonder Boys' lead to 20 to 14. Chase Smith with his first two points of the game. Right side, B.J. Johnson alone for three. Off the mark. Rebound tipped out to Lavelle for three. It is good. Andre Lavelle with the third Mr. Break and Lube three-pointer of the game for Arkansas Tech. And Jimmy Elgus has seen enough. He wants timeout. Nine minutes and one second left in the first half. Arkansas Tech 23, Henderson State 14 at the Alathus Realty Broadcast position. It is a 30-second break. This is Wonder Boys Basketball. First Aid Bank is proud to serve our community, a community made of hardworking friends and neighbors, folks who make our community better. You're why we offer personal.
personal helpful service and convenient digital tools. You make our town what it is, deeply rooted, community driven. First Aid Bank, these are our stomping grounds. Visit fsbmybank.com to learn more. Member FDIC. Nine minutes and one second to go in the first half. Arkansas Tech 23, Henderson State 14. The Wonder Boys having to go tonight without Wes Harris, who might have been the Wonder Boys' best player, along with Taylor Peter. Those have been the Wonder Boys' top two players all season long. Harris out tonight due to a concussion. Coach Downey saying during our pregame visit that he hopes to maybe get him back in time for Saturday's game at Southern Arkansas, but no Wes Harris tonight for Arkansas Tech. And nonetheless, the Wonder Boys have made eight out of their last 12 field goal attempts to grab a 23-14 lead here just past the midpoint of the first half, taking on the Henderson State ready. Bounce pass in the corner, back out to Cam Gain. They reverse it left side for Alvin Miles. Miles wants to drive the baseline, cut off by Camerad, feeds it down low to Boyce. Boyce's layup, he draws a foul and will shoot two free throws. The foul on Arkansas Tech will be on Tommy Camerad. It is his first personal foul, team foul number three, and it'll be two free throw attempts for Ryan Boyce. Boyce, a career 64% free throw shooter. This season is four out of four at the line. Transfer from Georgia State in his second year with the Reddies. He makes the first free throw try. Boyce came into the night ninth in the conference and blocked shots at 1.1 per game. This is his 59th collegiate game. 335 career points, 179 career rebounds. Made the first free throw, did Ryan Boyce. Second try for the Memphis product is good. And with 8.34 to go until the Fleet Tire Point S halftime show, the Arkansas Tech lead is 23-16. to Drive by Andre Lavelle, leaves it with Davidson for three. Way off target to the left. Defensive rebound for Henderson State. Out of there with it, Alvin Miles. Pass ahead is deflected and stolen by Taylor Peter. Peter saves it into Davidson. Davidson in transition has it poked away. Ryan Boyce makes the steal for Henderson State. Reddy's back to work offensively. 8.07 to go in the first half. High ball screen set by Miholcic. They zip it to him in the low post. Mercera deflected the pass. It very nearly went in the basket. And then Arkansas Tech able to come out of there with a the loose ball. How would, you, how would you do that one? Whoever's closest to the basket, I believe, would be there. Give yourself an assist. Yeah, I'm not... Feed down low for Nico Gosnell. Gosnell spin move, layup would not go, but a whistle and a foul on Tomislav Miholcic. His second personal foul is team foul number six, and there's timeout at Tucker Coliseum. Seven minutes and 45 seconds to go in the first half. Arkansas Tech 23, Henderson State 16. At the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we pause for one minute. This is Wonder Boys Basketball. A lot goes into taking care of your property. You need equipment with more reliability, durability, and versatility built in. Like number one selling Kubota, BX, and L-Series compact tractors. Z-Series mowers that deliver a quality cut. And sidekick utility vehicles where durability meets speed. Visit your local Kubota dealer for a demo today. In the River Valley, see River Valley Tractor on Weir Road in Russellville. Arkansas! Arkansas Tire and Auto Service, 2304 East Main. Seven minutes and 45 seconds remaining in the first half at Tucker Coliseum in Russellville. Arkansas Tech, 23. Henderson State, 16 is our score. Earlier tonight in the women's game, Henderson State defeated the Arkansas Tech Golden Suns by a final score of 78-67. to The Golden Suns. We'll be back in action Saturday afternoon at 1 p.m. at the W.T. Watson Athletic Center in Magnolia as the Golden Suns will take on the Southern Arkansas Mule Riders. Live coverage of Arkansas Tech basketball on Saturday afternoon right here on River Country KCJC and ArkansasTechSports.com. 1 and 3 p.m. will be the game times on Saturday. 
Nico Gosnell to the A Better Way Realty free throw line for Arkansas Tech. His first try is up and good. Nico, a career 56% free throw shooter. His second try is no good. And Frank Camgain with the defensive rebound for Henderson State. 24 to 16, Arkansas Tech by eight. Alvin Miles, Frank Camgain, along with Malik Riddle, Ryan Boyce, and K.J. Stewart. Now the five on the floor for Henderson. Miholchich out of the game with two personal fouls. Drive by Camgain. Johnson tried to tie it up. No whistle. Pass for Boyce. His jumper from the left baseline is no good. Mercero with the defensive rebound. Ahead of the fast break for Taylor and Peter. He leaves it with the trailer Gosnell. And Arkansas Tech will get into its half-court offense. Andre Lavelle dribbles on the left wing. Gets a ball screen from Mercera. Goes right. Looks for Mercera on the pick and pop. Gives it to him right back to Lavelle. Shot clock at 12. Andre Lavelle guarded by Ryan Boyce. Here comes Gosnell. He sets the ball screen. Lavelle goes right. Picks it up at the right elbow. Gives to Mercera. Two to shoot. Mercera lobs it in the corner. It's stolen by Alvin Miles. It was either going to be a steal or a shot clock violation. And then in transition, Mercera, after throwing the pass away, fouls Alvin Miles. The foul on Mercera is his first. Team foul number four. Mercera will check out, replaced by Darrell Roberts. Darrell Roberts, B.J. Johnson, Talon Peter, Nico Gosnell on the floor for Arkansas Tech, along with Andre Lavelle. Ryan Boyce passes left wing for Henderson State teammate Frank Camgain. Top of the key, K.J. Stewart with it. Stewart in his first year with the Reddies after transferring in from Southern Arkansas University Tech in Camden. Left wing Camgain, he tries a three. It is good for Frank Camgain. His first three-pointer of the night. Cam Gain, 12th in the league and scoring at 13.7 points per game. Cuts the Arkansas Tech lead to 24-19. Cam Gain with five points so far tonight. Talon Peter gets a look at three and cashes it in. A three-pointer from the right wing for Talon Peter. Arkansas Tech gets its fourth Mr. Break and Lube three-pointer of the first half. And it's 27-19 Arkansas Tech as we go under six minutes to play in the first half. Cam Gain in the lane, can't get the roll. Offensive rebound and a putback try by Stewart will not go. Offensive rebound Malik Riddle in between three defenders, puts it off the glass, no good. Defensive rebound B.J. Johnson, lead pass for Lavelle. He chases it down but then steps on the baseline on the offensive end as he tried to track down that lead pass from B.J. Johnson. And Arkansas Tech commits its fifth turnover. Great effort, great effort that time. Good hustle. Nico Gosnell checks out. Tommy Camerad back in the game for Arkansas Tech. Wonder Boys without Wes Harris tonight, as we mentioned, due to concussion. In for the first time for the Reddies is Ken Lewis, a six foot one junior guard from Olive Branch, Mississippi. Lewis in his first year with the Reddies after transferring in from Northeast Mississippi Community College. Lewis averaging three points per game has yet to score in conference play. Into the front court on the dribble comes Lewis. Lewis defended by Andre Lavelle, gets past him, cut off by B.J. Johnson. Throws it out left wing for Cam Gain, three-pointer, woefully short. Defensive rebound, Darrell Roberts of Arkansas Tech. 5.21 to go in the half, Wonder Boys by eight. Darrell Roberts leaves it out of the right wing with B.J. Johnson. Now to Andre Lavelle. Camerad sets the ball screen, pass to Johnson, right corner to Roberts. Roberts, skip pass to Peter, left corner three, it is short. Rebound, Henderson State. Malik Riddle able to tip it to Ryan Boyce. Now on the fast break, Alvin Miles layup no good. Defensive rebound by Talon Peter after Lavelle and Johnson forced the miss. Numbers aren't there. Peter waits for help. Gives to Lavelle. Lavelle wants to drive into the lane, and he is fouled by Ryan Boyce. Boyce picks up his second personal foul, team foul number seven, and it'll be a trip to the A Better Way Realty free throw line for Andre Lavelle, where he should be shooting a one-and-one. Andre Lavelle will indeed be shooting a one and one He is two out of three at the free throw line so far tonight. Andre came in a 47% free throw shooter on the year, but he's been much better than that so far tonight. Now three out of four. I believe this is more of the Andre Lavelle who really starred for the Wonder Boys in their first two games out in Weatherford, Oklahoma, back in mid-November. These last two games, he's looked a lot more like that player. Yes, sure has. That's his eighth point in this game. Second try is short. Defensive rebound by Malik Riddle of Henderson State. Reddies will go the other way down by 9, 28-19. Henderson State has missed five consecutive field goal tries 
and six of its last seven. Arkansas Tech, as a result, enjoys its largest lead so far. Feed down low intended for Ken Lewis, deflected away from him out of bounds, and the Reddies will maintain possession with 12 to shoot. Andre Lavelle gets a breather, replaced by Calvin Allen of Arkansas Tech. Allen appearing in his 54th game as a wonder boy here tonight. He has two points in the ball game, his first points since November 22nd. Inbound pass, nearly poked away from Alvin Miles. He's able to recover the basketball, I should say from Ken Lewis. Lewis able to recover the basketball, gives to Riddle for three, too strong as the shot clock was winding down, and Camerad gets the defensive rebound for Arkansas Tech. Into the front court come the Wonder Boys. Lob pass for Camerad. Camerad hangs on to the basketball despite a double team, gives up to Calvin Allen, to Roberts, to Peter for three. It is good! Darrell Roberts made the extra pass, and Taylor Peter cashed it in for a Mr. Break and Lube three-pointer. Taylor Peter with his third three, I should say his second three-pointer of the half. He has six points, and it's 31 to 19. It's a seven to nothing run for Arkansas Tech. Henderson State, meanwhile, has missed six consecutive field goal tries, stripped away from Miles out of bounds, and the Reddies will maintain possession when we come back. 3.39 to go. Arkansas Tech, 31. Henderson State, 19, here late in the first half from Tucker Coliseum and the Alathus Realty broadcast position. We pause for one minute. This is Wonder Boys Basketball. For over 70 years, Old South Restaurant at 1330 East Main Street in Russellville has been faithfully serving the River Valley. Whether it's starting your day with a good old-fashioned breakfast or helping you make it through the workday with a hearty home-styled lunch and, of course, serving your family with a dinner that would even make your mama proud. Old South Restaurants on Main Street in Russellville. We're here for you. We're here for you, so come on by Old South. Heinzman and Son Incorporated reminds you when you need new tires or auto repairs, Heinzman and Son has a well trained staff to treat you like family, and their goal is always on customer service. It's the foundation of their business, which is why so many people in the River Valley call Heinzman and Son their tire shop. Find Heinzman and Son on Facebook, check out their reviews, and call 880 1222 to make an appointment today. Heinzman and Son, serving the River Valley for over 30 years in county. <laughs> Kelly, the Wonder Boys' defensive pr pressure has been relentless. I think it's been best demonstrated by the number of times the Wonder Boys have just been able to get their hand on the ball, even as Henderson State possesses it, uh, a couple of held balls and really could have been a couple more. Yeah, and one of the other things also is that the, uh, the defense for the Wonder Boys, they're altering shots a little bit on the inside. They're, they're going up and contesting and making them try to shoot over the, over the arm or around it. So it's really... It's really causing them to take some really awkward-looking shots. Zion Patterson and Josh Mason are back in for Henderson State, along with Tim McDonald. Pass to the right wing for Josh Mason. Alvin Miles is also on the floor for the Reddies. Jumper by Mason at the shot clock buzzer is no good. Rebounded by Zion Patterson out to Mason for an open three, and he got it. Josh Mason with his second bucket of the game. He's got five points. 3.21 to go in the first half. And the Arkansas Tech lead is 31-22. to Left wing three by Deshaun Davidson is short, no good. Camerad tips the rebound out, but Josh Mason controls it for the Reddies. In transition to Zion Patterson. Patterson throws it back out to Mason. Mason with five points in the ballgame. We'll give you an interesting stat on him in a moment. Patterson misses the layup, gets his own rebound, and then we've got a foul against Arkansas Tech. The foul will be on the floor. The Reddies will have it on the baseline. The foul is on Taylor Peter, his first personal foul. Josh Mason, with his five points tonight, now has 68 career points in 38 games at Henderson State. And of those 68 points that Josh Mason has scored, 33 of them, almost half, have come against Arkansas Tech. He had a career-high 18 points against the Wonder Boys last season as a freshman, he had a career high at that time, 10 points against Arkansas Tech. He saves his best for when he faces the Wonder Boys. 31-22, Reddy's with the basketball following the Taylor Peter foul. Left side three on its way and no good for McDonald. Put back is good for K.J. Stewart. And the Reddies have 
regained a bit of the momentum here with five straight points. Now an ill-advised inbound pass stolen by Josh Mason. He gives to Miles. Miles to McDonald. He dribbles it off to Deshaun Davidson's foot and out of bounds. And the Reddies will maintain possession with 2.29 to go in the half. And Arkansas Tech leading 31-24. to But the Reddies have scored the last five points. Inbound pass will be made by Alvin Miles. The Reddy's doing this with most of their frontline players on the bench. Mason tries a left baseline jumper. It is good, and we have another flop against Arkansas Tech, I believe. Well, they're going to look at this one. Darrell Roberts hit the deck, and they're going to check and see. It's either going to be quite possibly a flagrant foul against Henderson for the clear out, or it's going to be a flop against Arkansas Tech. The officials are going over to check things out with two minutes and 22 seconds to go in the half. It was a two-point basket for Josh Mason, giving him now seven points in the first half. That is a new season high for Mason. Not at all surprising to see him performing this well against he's, Arkansas he's Tech. A good shooter. And while they take a look at the video replay, I know that Kelly, really, this is the only game going on in Great American Conference play tonight, but I know Kelly has some final scores from GAC men's action on Saturday. Saturday, it was Southern Arkansas, 89. It was Washita Baptist, 67. UA Monticello, 77. Harding, 72. Southwest Oklahoma, 63. East Central, 60. Southern Nazarene, 75. Northwest Oklahoma, 51. And Southeast Oklahoma, five points better than Oklahoma Baptist, 85 to 80. Well, after the video review, it appears that nothing is going to change. Yeah, nothing happened. So no foul called, no flop against Arkansas Tech. And the basketball belongs to Henderson State with 2.22 to go in the first half. And Arkansas Tech now leading 31-26 to as the Reddies have rattled off seven unanswered points. Calvin Allen drives the baseline, pass deflected out of bounds by Tim McDonald. The Wonder Boys will maintain possession with 18 to shoot. Calvin Allen is out. Andre Lavelle is back in for Arkansas Tech. Lavelle, Nico Gosnell, along with Talon Peter, Deshaun Davidson, and Jonathan Mercera, the five on the floor. Inbound for Davidson. Out it goes to Lavelle. He leaves it there with Mercera. Mercera dribbles right, passes in the corner for Talon Peter. Peter double team, throws it cross court to Davidson. Davidson left-handed dribble drive, gets underneath the basket, lays it up and in. Deshaun Davidson with five points. A minute 54 to go until the Fleet Tire Point S halftime show, and the Arkansas Tech lead is 33 to 26. That stops the seven to nothing run for Henderson State. Mason with it on the right wing, defended by Talon Peter. Looks to drive, pulls up from 10, short. Rebound out of bounds off to Sean Davidson's fingertips, and the basketball will stay with Henderson State with 20 on the shot clock. One minute 35 seconds to go in the half. Arkansas Tech leading 33-26. to The Wonder Boys have led by as many as 12. Josh Mason with the basketball for the Reddies. Defended by Talon Peter. Gives top of the key for K.J. Stewart. Hands it off to Zion Patterson. Now the ball to McDonald. Back to Patterson. Jump stop in the lane. He was fouled on a 10-foot jumper by Jonathan Mercera. Mercera gets his second personal foul. Team foul number six. It'll be two free throws for Henderson State's Zion Patterson. Patterson had a career-high 12 points in their win over UA Monticello in their most recent game on December 3rd. He was 5 of 9 from the field in that ball game. Patterson in his first year with the Reddies after transferring in from Eastern Oklahoma State College where he averaged 13 points per game. Patterson averaging 6.6 points per contest so far in his first year with the Reddies. He missed the first free throw. Patterson's second try is also no good, and Nico Gosnell has the defensive rebound for Arkansas Tech. Wonder Boys into the front court, leading by seven. Late in the first half at Tucker Coliseum in Russellville. Gosnell with it inside the top of the key. Hands it off to Camerad. Poked away from him by Ryan Boyce. Loose ball at midcourt, and a foul against Arkansas Tech's Tommy Camerad. Camerad gets his second. Team foul, number seven, and thus... It'll be a one-and-one one opportunity for the Reddies. The shooter will be Ryan Boyce. Boyce, two out of two at the free throw line so far. He has five points and three rebounds on the night. 
Henderson State was 17 and 12 overall, 13 and 9 in the conference last year. They lost in the first round of the GAC tournament to Southern Nazarene. Run into the one and one, no good for Ryan Boyce. Deshaun Davidson got the defensive rebound, and the Wonder Boys will go the other way. Last year marked the sixth consecutive season that Henderson State has finished 500 or better. And they've really become a consistent winner under head coach Jimmy Elegance. Pass deflected out of bounds by Ryan Boyce. The Wonder Boys will maintain possession with 11 on the shot clock and 43.5 seconds remaining in the first half. Now Henderson State wants to make a change as Malik Riddle will check back in and Zion Patterson will check out. Inbound pass to be made by Andre Lavelle, who leads Arkansas Tech in scoring tonight with eight points. Gets it into Nico Gosnell. Nico hands it right back to Lavelle. Now Taylor Peter makes a catch. His three-point try is short from the left wing. Defensive rebound by K.J. Stewart of Henderson State. There is a three-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock here at the end of the first half. Alvin Miles dribbles just inside the timeline, throws it across to Ryan Boyce. Boyce wants to work on Camerad. Camerad stays in front. Boyce picks up his dribble, throws it out to Riddle in the right corner. Now Riddle gets it back from Stewart. Riddle dribbles out front, gives to Frank Camgain. Camgain with five points so far tonight. Defended by Taylor Peter, three to shoot. Steps back for a long two, it's short, no good. Rebound, Taylor Peter, two seconds left in the half. Taylor from 25 feet, it's good! Taylor Peter pulls up and banks it home at the buzzer, and as a result, our score after 20 minutes in Russellville is Arkansas Tech 36 and Henderson State 26. At the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we step aside for three minutes and then come back with the Fleet Tire Point S halftime show as Talon sends us to the break. Wonder Boys by 10. This is Arkansas Tech basketball. Alathus Realty is proud to support all of our local students. Alathus Realty, we believe the community comes first, and there's nothing quite like community when cheering on your favorite team from the stands. Alathus Realty is committed to provide our area with gold standard service in every aspect of your real estate transaction. So whether you're loading up to go to the game or settling in for an evening at home, you can rest assured Alathus Realty is taking care of you. Call us today, 479-968-5668. Alathus Realty, we put the real in real estate. Find us on Facebook today. This is Todd, market president with Centennial Bank. We're more than just a financial institution. We pride ourselves on being community focused and connected. Hi, I'm Charlie, business development officer with Centennial Bank. As a lifelong resident of the River Valley, I am proud to be part of a team that brings passion, pride, and dedication to our communities. Supporting our community starts with people like myself and Charlie, who know and love the River Valley area, which is why we're always banking with you in mind. Centennial Bank is proud to support the place we call home. NMLS number 564245, member FDIC, equal housing lender. The heater broke down, I had to act fast. With roots and wires, I broke the thermostat. My wife got cold and nose started to freeze. She said, hey man, got a call actually at actuallyair.com. If you breaks down, they're the one you want. Actuallyair.com. The fast and the good and they got it going on. Technician showed up the very same day. Got the pits running fast, he was on his way. Next time your heater breaks, you know who to call. There's only one choice. Actuallyair.com. At Liberty Car Wash in Russellville, you have options. You can wash your car yourself or drive through one of the automatic car washes. Liberty Car Wash also gives you the option of washing your fur baby. Why make a mess in your home and risk clogging your drains when you can wash Max at Liberty Car Wash? Visit Liberty Car Wash today on Knoxville Avenue and South Arkansas Avenue in Russellville, where you always have options. We have sort of a hidden gem right here in the Arkansas River Valley, Central Arkansas Surgical Center of Russellville. They're high on the hill at the intersection of Highway 7 and Interstate 40. We're talking quality local surgeons in a variety of capacities who can help you when it comes time for surgery. It's not a hospital. It's a surgical center. Central Arkansas Surgical Center. Inquire today by logging on to centralarkansasurgical.com or call them at 967-1117. If your business is telephone system, alarm system, cabling, or even CCTV aren't up to date, your business is not secure. Tracer Communications is a one-stop shop 
shop for new and existing businesses that value honesty, hard work, and quality solutions. So you can save time and money and focus on your business while they take care of your phone and security systems. And that saves you money and protects your investment. So call your local Tracer Communications at 890-6499 to set up an appointment or visit <coughs> tracercoms.com for a full list of services today. Welcome in to the Fleet Tire Point S Halftime Show from Tucker Coliseum in Russellville, where our score after 20 minutes is the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys 36 and the Henderson State Reddies 26. Let's take a look at the numbers. Henderson State, 9 of 28 from the field, 32%, including 3 of 10, 30% from three-point range, and the Reddies are 5 out of 8, 63% at the free throw line. Arkansas Tech, 12 of 25 from the field, 48%. Arkansas Tech, 6 of 15, 40% from the Mr. Break and Lube three-point arc. And Arkansas Tech is 6 out of 9, 67% at the A Better Way Realty free throw line. Henderson State out-rebounding Arkansas Tech, 20 to 16. The Reddies have four assists and eight turnovers. Arkansas Tech with seven assists and seven turnovers. Arkansas Tech with a 7 to nothing lead in fast break points. Coach Downey referenced in the pregame interview how important it would be to limit Henderson State's transition opportunities and so far zero fast break points for Henderson State. Individual leaders first for the Reddies. Josh Mason has seven points. Five points apiece for Ryan Boyce and Frank Camgain. Tomislav Miholcic has four points for the Reddies and then two points apiece for Chay Smith and K.J. Stewart. One point at halftime for Alvin Miles. Arkansas Tech led by Talon Peter, who hit that buzzer beater, his third Mr. Break and Lube three-pointer of the first half, accounting for all nine of his points. Eight points for Andre Lavelle. Five points apiece for Deshaun Davidson, Nico Gosnell, and Tommy Camarad. And two points apiece for Calvin Allen and Jonathan Mercera. B.J. Johnson and Darrell Roberts have also appeared in the game for Arkansas Tech. Roberts hasn't scored, but he has two rebounds and two assists. Arkansas Tech leads 36-26, to 26, and on the Fleet Tire Point S Halftime Show from the Alathus Realty Broadcast position, we will take another three-minute break and then come back for a trip around the Great American Conference with Kelly Davis. That's in three minutes. Wonder Boys by 10. This is Arkansas Tech Basketball. A solid roof for your business is key to keeping your employees, products, and valuables dry and clean. If you're experiencing roof leaks that are resulting in damaged equipment, stained ceilings and walls, then don't let Mother Nature get the best of your business. The folks at ENF Roofing offer free commercial roof inspections, but their experience is priceless for your business. Not to lose productivity and extend the life of your roof. So contact ENF Roofing today for a free commercial inspection at 479-272-4069. When it comes to buying or selling a home, there really is a better way. As soon as you start talking with our team at a better way Realty in Russellville, you're going to feel the difference. Imagine if you had a great friend in the real estate industry, someone who genuinely cared about you and your family and was passionate about taking care of you. That is the philosophy of everyone who works here at a better way Realty. We want your business because we earn it, period. Discover what experience and heart can do with a better way Realty. Find us on Facebook and see the difference. A better way Realty. Real estate done a better way. At Fleet Tire Point S, the S stands for service, selection, and savings. Fleet Tire knows the importance of the handshake and the significance of a referral. That will never change. At Fleet Tire Point S, you'll still find the same local owners, friendly service, and guarantees on warranties. Fleet Tire Point S consistently offers unparalleled service and quality tires to fit every budget. Because you customer are always a top priority at Fleet Tire Point S. So come by today to experience the Fleet Tire Point S difference. No stress with Point S. Hey, it's Sharp Dunaway here for my friends at Mr. Glass in Russellville. Did you know that freezing temperatures are the number one cause of cracked windshields? Let Mr. Glass take care of that little chip before it becomes a pain in your <clears throat> And when most insurance companies waive your deductible, that's like zero dollars to you. <laughs> I did math. You're welcome. Mr. Glass is located inside of Mr. Break and Lube on Main Street in Russellville. Kicking glass and taking names for over 30 years, it's Mr. Glass. 
ABC Children's Academy is currently enrolling for the 2022 school year with 14 locations in Pope, Johnson, and Yale County. ABC provides all-day child care, as well as a variety of enrollment options for families, including Arkansas Better Chance for ages 3 to 5, plus more. Visit abcchildrensacademy.com for more info and come by their central office on 4th Street in Russellville to apply in person or call 567-5650. ABC Children's Academy, changing our world one student at a time. Folks at Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air want to take a moment not only to thank you for your business, but also the opportunity to work for you and give your family whole house comfort. Every kind word that you put online and personal recommendation to your friends and family is appreciated. Customers like you are not only vital to their business, but vital to making our community as great as it is. From their family to yours, thank you. From Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air. Welcome back to the Fleet Tire Point S Halftime Show from Tucker Coliseum in Russellville where the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys enjoy a 36-26 to halftime lead over the Henderson State Reddies. And now it's time to buckle up and hold on tight as we take a trip around the Great American Conference with Kelly Davis. Well, for my boys, we'll uh, <laughs> withstand that much uh, time. I think let's back up to the women's side a little bit. Today was the only games played were here at Tucker Coliseum as our Golden Suns fell to Henderson State 78-67. So that drops the Golden Suns to 2-1 and one in conference play. So now there is a four-way tie for first place with Harding, Henderson State, Oklahoma Baptist, and Southern Nazarene all at 3-0 and oh in conference play. Your Golden Suns at 2-1. and one. And then at one and two is Northwest Oklahoma, uh, Washita Baptist, Southeast Oklahoma, and Southwest Oklahoma. Looking for their first conference win is East Central, Southern Arkansas, and UA Monticello, all at O and three to start this long drive in the conference season. And on the men's side, let's look at the standings right quick. It is Southern Nazarene sitting atop at first place right now at 3-0 and in conference play. And trying to battle out to, to best that is Arkansas Tech and Henderson State here today. Both of them are at 2-0 and in conference play. And that's the only undefeated teams left on the men's side. So you can tell already the women's side and the men's, it's going to be a wild, wild conference race again this year. Because at 2-1 and now is Southeast Oklahoma. Southern Arkansas, who we will go to Saturday, and Oklahoma Baptist. At one and two in conference play is East Central, Southwest Oklahoma, UA Monticello, and Chita Baptist. And looking for their first conference win is Harding and Northwest Oklahoma. So Saturday's schedule, it's going to be a, it's going to be a good one, all in-state games. As Arkansas Tech travels to Southern Arkansas, Washita will be at UA Monticello. Harding will be at Henderson State. Southwest Oklahoma at Southern Nazarene. Oklahoma Baptist at East Central. And Northwest Oklahoma will travel to Southeast Oklahoma. There's an upcoming date that we want you to go ahead and put on your calendar. It's going to be Friday, December 23rd at 7.30 p.m. Dr. Daniel A. Belongia, Professor of Music and Director of Bands at Arkansas Tech, along with a lot of co-conspirators, has put together something really special. They are going to have more than 100 musicians, ranging in age from 12 to 70-plus, participating in the inaugural Arkansas Tech University Alumni and Community Christmas Concert that is 7.30 p.m. on Friday, December 23rd at Witherspoon Auditorium. Make plans to join us for what should be a special event and could be the beginning of a great new holiday tradition here in the Arkansas River Valley. This has been the Fleet Tire Point S Halftime Show. Our score is Arkansas Tech 36, Henderson State 26. Back to the Alathus Realty broadcast position for the second half in three minutes. This is Wonder Boys Basketball. Taking care of families. That's what the folks at C&D Drugstore have been doing in historic downtown Russellville for more than six decades when it comes to all your pharmaceutical needs. When it comes to compounding special medicines, R.D. Walker and his staff are there to serve you. And most importantly, if you need delivery, if you need curbside pickup, you need C&D Drugstore on the corner of B and Commerce in downtown Russellville, a 60 
year tradition. It's that time of year again to start thinking about reviewing your Medicare plan. Hi, I'm Mike Giroux with Giroux & Associates and Medicare Specialists of Arkansas, reminding you to take the time to allow a local agent to assist you with your Medicare plan review. Choosing the wrong plan can cause you to spend money unnecessarily, cause you to lose valuable benefits, or cause you to have to change the provider you currently use. Don't be fooled by the misleading commercials on TV. Call a local agent to assist you with finding a plan that best meets your needs. I'm your local Medicare specialist. Call me at 479-857-2810. Hi, everybody. This is Chris George from Joshua's Fine Jewelry in beautiful downtown Rustville. It's the most exciting time of the year. Joshua's Red Tag Sale is absolutely the best time to buy your holiday gifts. And this year, we've added a very few gold tags on super special items that are especially good deals, waiting for just the right person to come and get them. At Joshua's, we have a great selection of red tag and now gold tag items so you can get your perfect Christmas gift without breaking the bank this year. Come see us at Joshua's Fine Jewelry in beautiful downtown Russell. Do you need your wisdom or other teeth removed? Do you have a toothache? Are you considering dental implants to replace missing teeth or to help anchor a denture? Be sure to see Dr. Forrest Fail for a no out-of-pocket consultation at Lakeside Oral Facial and Dental Implant Surgery. Lakeside is contracted with many insurance companies and has multiple financing options to minimize your out-of-pocket costs. Have your oral surgery in a caring, state-of-the-art facility right here in Russellville. Visit their website at lakesideofs.com. Johnny Story in for Miller Roofing Company reminding you Shingle Bells continues in 2022. Every Christmas season, Miller Roofing Company donates a new roof to a deserving family or individual. Nominations are being received through December 15th. So if you know someone who needs a roof, send a picture of the home and a letter telling their story to P.O. Box 1317 Russellville 72811 or email it to info at millerroofing.net. Why trust River Valley Tinting and Glass? Well, River Valley Tinting and Glass is a family-owned business, and they take care of their customers like family, too. So remember, your local auto, residential, and commercial glass and tinting company, River Valley Tinting and Glass. Check out their work on Facebook or call 890-5839 to get an estimate. Or you can always come by 2202 East 2nd Street to see all they can do for you. From a business you can trust, River Valley Tinting and Glass. Hey. Welcome back to the Alathus Realty broadcast position at Tucker Coliseum in Russellville as we get set for the second half with the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys leading the Henderson State Reddies 36 to 26. The Reddies will have the basketball to begin the second half. Malik Riddle, Frank Camgain, Alvin Miles, Ryan Boyce, and Tomislav Miholcic are their five. Tommy Kamarad, Nico Gosnell, Talon Peter, Andre Lavelle, and Deshaun Davidson for Arkansas Tech. And the second half is underway in Russellville. Top of the key, Ryan Boyce gives left wing to Malik Riddle. Now Miholcic flashes out high. He makes a catch. Hand off to Miles. Miles tries to get downhill. Gosnell hedging on the screen, wouldn't let him. It goes to Cam Game, reverse layup, tough shot, no good. Defensive rebound, Nico Gosnell of Arkansas Tech. And here come the Wonder Boys, up by 10 early in the second half. Right corner, Talon Peter. They run two defenders at him, so he dribbles up to the top of the key. Pursued all the way by Alvin Miles. Talon Peter behind the back dribble, steps back, thought about a three, gives to Davidson. Shot clock at 11. Deshaun Davidson gets a pick from Camerad, drives the lane, and throws it away. Turnover, Arkansas Tech, it's eighth of the game. And the Reddies get it back with 19 minutes and 18 seconds to go. Kelly, before the night gets away from you, I want to pass along kudos to the Arkansas Tech cheerleaders and the Arkansas Tech Golden Girls dance team, both for being here tonight. Classes are done for the fall semester. Most of their peer students have gone home for the holiday break. We appreciate them being here tonight to help cheer on the Wonder Boys and the Golden Suns. Miholcic throws it out right wing for Alvin Miles. Feed down low for Miholcic. He's double teamed. Stripped away from him by Deshaun Davidson, and then a whistle and a foul. The foul is committed by Henderson State. Malik Riddle is the guilty party. It is Riddle's second personal foul, team foul number one this half, and the basketball belongs to Arkansas Tech. Into the front court on the dribble comes Andre Lavelle, guarded by Alvin Miles, goes to the right wing, hands it off to Taylor Peter. Peter, guarded by Frank Camgain, brings it all the way to the left wing, gives top for Nico Gosnell. Gosnell gives to Davidson. Davidson drives. Lost the handle, loose ball, far side, Lavelle able to gather it for Arkansas Tech. Shot clock at eight, 
drive and dish for Davidson. On to Taylor Peter in the left corner. Taylor passes back to Davidson. One to shoot, lost the handle. Shot clock violation against Arkansas Tech. Back-to-back -back turnovers for the Wonder Boys. And the basketball belongs to Henderson State with 18 minutes and 25 seconds to go in the second half. I think we set a record for hitting the floor that time. A lot of bodies. Alvin Miles will bring it into the front court for Henderson State. Guarded by Andre Lavelle. Boyce and Thomas Loft both ready to set a pick. It's Boyce that sets it. Bring Miles to drive for the basket. Layup up and good for Alvin Miles. His first field goal. He's got three points. 36-28 is the Arkansas Tech lead. Andre Lavelle dribbles on the right wing. Passes out front for Taylor Peter. Peter looks to drive. Gets by Cam Gain. Gets to the rim. Layup. A lot of contact between he and Miholcic. No whistle. The layup was short, and Miholcic got the defensive rebound for Henderson State. In transition, Cam Gain layup good. Frank Cam Gain with the fast break bucket. That's what Coach Downey talked about in the pregame interview. Cannot let the Reddies beat you down the floor. That's what Cam Gain did yeah. that time. Lob pass intended for Nico Gosnell. Stolen by Malik Riddle. The Wonder Boys very sloppy offensively to begin the second half. Drive by Cam Gain. Feeds Boyce, I believe. And a whistle and a foul against Arkansas Tech. It was Ryan Boyce receiving that pass. And Deshaun Davidson commits his first personal foul, first team foul of this half. And the Reddies will throw it in from the baseline. The inbound pass will be made by Alvin Miles. 24 on the shot clock, 17-26 left in the game. And the Reddies have owned the second half so far. They've scored all four points, and they've got the ball again. Arkansas Tech has committed three turnovers in the first two and a half minutes of the half. Top of the key, Miles. Miholcic moving all over the place on that screen. Miles drives to the basket. Layup up, good, and a foul. A three-point play opportunity for Alvin Miles. The foul on Arkansas Tech will be on Andre Lavelle for a push. His first. Team foul number two. And Alvin Miles to the free throw line in search of his sixth point. And the three-point play. Miles one out of one at the free throw line. The Reddies as a team five out of eight. Well, that ten-point lead's going away, hasn't it? It's down to three now. The Reddies have scored the first seven points of the second half. And that three-point play by Alvin Miles cuts the Arkansas Tech lead down to 36 to 33. It was 36 to 26 at halftime. Andre Lavelle dribbles on the Tech logo at midcourt. Shot clock at 16. Feeds for Camerad. Camerad turns to face the basket 22 feet away. Hands it off to Lavelle. Lavelle passes right corner for Camerad. Sidesteps his defender. Pulls up from 15. It is short. Rebound. Arkansas Tech. Lavelle got the carom. Put back. Is good. And a foul. A three-point play opportunity for Andre Lavelle. The foul on Henderson State will be on Thomas Lofty Holchich. It is his third personal foul. Is team foul number two, and Andre Lavelle to the free throw line where he is three out of five tonight. Lavelle into double figures for the fourth time this season. He's got 10 points, make it 11, nothing but net on the free throw. 16-39 to go second half, and it's 39-33 Arkansas Tech. Lavelle with the defense on Alvin Miles as he throws a bounce pass to the top of the key for Ryan Boyce. Miholcic sets a pick. Boyce goes right, defended by Gosnell. Lob pass deflected by Camerad, stolen by Nico Gosnell. He gives to Deshaun Davidson. Davidson over the timeline. Goes to the left wing. Gosnell sets the screen. Drive by Davidson. In the corner for Peter, three-pointer short. Defensive rebound, Ryan Boyce. Out of the pass for Cam Gain. Here come the Reddies. Cam Gain in the lane. Steps through. Short jumper off to the right. No good. Defensive rebound, Nico Gosnell. And Coach Downey wants his team to slow it down just a little bit. He tells Deshaun Davidson, there's your point guard, Andre Lavelle, give him the basketball. Arkansas Tech wearing the home whites tonight, trimmed in dark green and gold. Henderson State in the road black uniforms, trimmed in maroon and white. Three-pointer good from the left corner for Andre Lavelle. Lavelle has 14 points. That's his second Mr. Break and Lube three-pointer of the night. And Arkansas Tech leads 42-33. to Miles into the front court for the Reddies. Gives to Ryan Boyce. Boyce drives the left side of the lane. Layup is good for Boyce. Boyce has seven points, 15-24 to go, and it's 42-35, Arkansas Tech. Andre Lavelle checked on the right wing by Miles. 
Gets turned downhill to the left side of the lane. To Camerad, to Peter. Talon fakes the three. Throws it cross court to Lavelle for three. It is good! Andre Lavelle with 17 points. A new season high. 15 minutes to go. And the Wonder Boys lead 45-35. Their lead is back to 10 on the strength of Andre Lavelle. Oh, he's feeling it right now. Drive by Boyce. He gets clobbered as he went through, went through the middle of the lane. Deshaun Davidson off balance, collided with him in the lane. The foul on Davidson is his second. Team foul number three, and there's timeout on the floor. 14.52 remaining. Arkansas Tech 45, Henderson State 35. At the Alathus Realty broadcast position, it's a one-minute break. This is Wonder Boys Basketball. Are tree branches threatening your home, or do you have a tree that you just need removed? I have a solution for you. TreeWise Tree Guys, tree work experts. TreeWise Tree Guys uses the latest in tree climbing and rigging techniques, meaning no heavy equipment or driving in your yard, just guys climbing and dragging your trees out of there. If you have a tree that needs work and you're looking for a low-impact solution that will preserve your landscaping, give us a call, 479-222-0793. TreeWise Tree Guys. Farmers Co-op located in Russellville, don't forget their Danville location, Mike Apples along, Mike, it is that time of year when feed is very, very important. It sure is, and uh, make sure that uh, you've got your animal's needs taken care of, uh, protein levels met, and all those things that you, that you look for uh, when it comes this time of year. Farmers Co-op, we're located on East Main at Russellville. Don't forget their Danville location. 14.52 to go. Henderson State pulled within three points at the 17.10 mark. Since then, Andre Lavelle has scored all nine Arkansas Tech points to help the Wonder Boys push their lead back out to 10 points at 45 to 35. Lavelle with 17 points on the night. A new season high for him, 10 away from matching his career high, which was set last year when he played at Ohio Valley University. Henderson State with the basketball. Chase Smith has it. Dribbles left. Defended by Lavelle. Pivots. Throws it to the top of the key for Ryan Boyce. Six to shoot. A long two-pointer on the way and no good for Boyce. Defensive rebound by Nico Gosnell. His fourth rebound of the night. Now Lavelle into the front court. Gets the pick from Gosnell. Goes to the free throw line. Throws it out to Darrell Roberts who's back in the game. Finds Johnson alone in the left corner. Three-pointer does not go. And Josh Mason grabs the defensive rebound for Henderson State. Another open shot. Mason on the left wing. Bounce pass to the baseline for Ryan Boyce, defended by Darrell Roberts. Boyce, bad pass, deflected by Andre Lavelle. Lavelle tips it around, able to pick it up, throws it ahead to Taylor Peter. Peter one-on-one, -on -one, goes to the rim, layup good, and a foul on Zion Patterson. And what a job by Andre Lavelle to be aware of where his teammates were. He was able to feed Taylor Peter out of that scrum for the loose ball, and it leads to a three-point play opportunity for Arkansas Tech. A foul on Henderson State on Zion Patterson is his first. Team foul number three. And now Taylor Peter to the free throw line in search of his 12th point of the night. It's the first trip to the A Better Way Realty free throw line tonight for Taylor. He is a 76% free throw shooter on the year. He ranks eighth in the conference in that category. He makes the free throw, and the Wonder Boys have their largest lead of the night, a 13 point spread. At 48 to 35. I think Patterson felt like he had enough contact to, for him not to make the shot. Andre Lavelle defending Chase Smith just inside the timelines called for a reach in. Andre Lavelle's second personal foul is team foul number four. And Josh Mason will throw it in from the near sideline for Henderson State. Gets it into Chase Smith. Smith dribbles right. They run a blitz at him. He picks up his dribble. Bounce pass out of it to Malik Riddle. Shot clock at 12. Riddle pivots at the right elbow, puts it off the window, and scores. Malik Riddle's first two points of the game. 13.36 to go. It's 48-37, Arkansas Tech. Andre Lavelle stops inside the top of the key. Throws it left wing for Darrell Roberts. Roberts penetrates. No look pass down low for Camerad. His layup try blocked and rebounded by K.J. Stewart. Reddy's push. Right wing Smith. Jay Smith to the rim. Blocked out of bounds by Camerad, and the Reddies will maintain possession with 23 to shoot. Calvin Allen in. Andre Lavelle will get a breather for Arkansas Tech. Jay Smith to throw it in for the Reddies. 
Gets it into Mason. Mason behind a Stewart screen. Misses from 15 feet on the left baseline. Tip try by Zion. Patterson wouldn't go. Now B.J. Johnson to Allen, to Peter. And he'll, going in for the slam dunk, Taylor Peter is fouled by Josh Mason. And it'll be two free throws at the A Better Way Realty free throw line for Taylor Peter. The foul on Josh Mason is his first personal. It is team foul number four. And Taylor Peter on his way to the free throw line for Arkansas Tech. Taylor one out of one at the line tonight. Clean foul that time. Oh, no, wait a minute. They're calling the flop somewhere. From down here on the other end of the court. Okay, so they're going to call a flop back on the other end. They allowed play to continue until there was a dead ball. Then they ruled the flop against Henderson State. So Taylor Peter got a chance at one free throw due to that technical foul. He missed that free throw. Now we will go back to the point in the game where we were at, which is Taylor Peter shooting two free throws. The technical foul was not related to that hard foul. It was, a, as Kelly was pointing out, that's a clean play by Josh Mason. The technical foul was on a flop on the other end against Henderson State. And now Taylor will shoot his two free throws. He missed the one there for the technical foul. First try is up and good this time. Taylor gets his 13th point of the game. He's now two out of three at the A Better Way Realty free throw line tonight. Taylor came into the night ninth in the conference in scoring at 15.4 points per game, 11th in the GAC in field goal percentage, 6th in the league in steals. He was named Great American Conference Player of the Week last week. He makes both free throws on the Mason foul. 13.05 to go. Peter checks out. It's 50-37. to 37. Arkansas Tech by 13. B.J. Johnson, Calvin Allen, Darrell Roberts, Deshaun Davidson, and Tommy Camerad are the five on the floor for Arkansas Tech. Wonder Boys right now play without Lavelle and Peter, who have combined for 31 of their 50 points so far tonight. Coach Downey trying to get both of them a bit of a breather ahead of the under-12 media timeout. Chay Smith passes right wing for Riddle. Three-pointer is short. Long rebound out to Chay Smith of Henderson State. Jump stop in the lane for him. He misses the runner. Rebound to B.J. Johnson, and he gets it ahead to Darrell Roberts, and the Wonder Boys will slow it down. 12.29 to go in the second half. Arkansas Tech with the ball and a 50-37 to lead. Pass right wing for B.J. Johnson. Now to Darrell Roberts at the top of the key. Bounce pass left wing for Calvin Allen. Back to Roberts. Roberts dribbles right. No look pass in the corner for B.J. Johnson. Now Davidson with a three-pointer on the way. Good with three on the shot clock. Deshaun Davidson buries the Mr. Break and Lube three-pointer. Arkansas Tech is now 9 of 20 from three-point range, and the Wonder Boys lead by 16. Feed for Miholchich layup is good and a blocking foul against Arkansas Tech. Deshaun Davidson called for the foul. His third, the team's fifth, and there will be timeout on the floor. 11 minutes and 54 seconds to play in Russellville. Arkansas Tech 53, Henderson State 39. At the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we step aside for one minute. This is Wonder Boys Basketball. Bellner's Athletes Corner, your high-performance athletic store for quality athletic footwear and apparel features Nike, Under Armour, The North Face, Patagonia, Oakley, Saucony, New Balance, Brooks, Asics, Kavu, Keen, and many, many more. Bellners invites you to make them your first stop. With more than 50 years combined experience, the familiar faces at Bellners can help you with all your athletic needs. Bellners Athletes Corner, 2320 West Main, Russellville, open 930 until 6, Monday through Saturday. First Aid Bank is proud to serve our community. A community made of hardworking friends and neighbors. Folks who make our community better. You're why we offer personal helpful service and convenient digital tools. You make our town what it is, deeply rooted, community driven. First State Bank, these are our stomping grounds. Visit fsbmybank.com to learn more. Member FDIC. Well, Kelly, we talked about it at the beginning of the night. The Wonder Boys struggles shooting the three-pointer this year. Last in the conference and three-point field goals made. Last in the conference in three-point field goal percentage. It's been a very different story tonight. The Wonder Boys, a season-high nine Mr. Break and Lube three-pointers tonight, and the Wonder Boys are nine out of 20, 45% from three-point range, including three out of five here in the second half. 
Well, I, I think I think the thing is right now is that they're taking good open three-point shots. Early in the year, they were forcing some. Didn't turn out well. Miholcic's free throw is no good as he is unable to complete the three-point play wrapped around the under-12 media timeout. The Wonder Boys out of there with it. Calvin Allen, Jonathan Mercera, Deshaun Davidson, Nico Gosnell, and B.J. Johnson, the five on the floor. Bounce pass into the low post for Nico Gosnell. He'll work on Miholcic. Takes him into the lane. Spin move. Miholcic stayed with him on the first spin, but not the second. Nico lost him with that last move. 11.32 to go, and it's 55-39 on the Nico Gosnell layup. Seven points for Nico in just his second game of the season as he battles back from injury. Tell you what, you add Wes Harris back into this mix, oh. this could be a pretty good basketball team. Wes out tonight due to a concussion, hoping to get him back Saturday at Southern Arkansas when the Wonder Boys face the Mule Riders at 3 p.m. at the W.T. Watson. A steal by Calvin Allen into the front court come the Wonder Boys. And Tomislav Miholcic very nearly punched Nico Gosnell yeah. there a moment ago. Three-pointer good for Deshaun Davidson. And the Mr. Break and Lube three-pointer by Davidson makes it 56-39. Miholcic gave him a little bit of a jab in the ribs as they were coming up floor. And now Henderson State clearly a bit disheveled, and the Reddies want timeout. Ten minutes and 45 seconds to go in Russellville, where the score is Arkansas Tech 58 Henderson State 39 at the Alathus Realty broadcast position. We step aside for one minute. This is Wonder Boys Basketball. A lot goes into taking care of your property. You need equipment with more reliability, durability, and versatility built in. Like number one selling Kubota BX and L-Series compact tractors. D-Series mowers that deliver a quality cut and sidekick utility vehicles where durability meets speed. Visit your local Kubota dealer for a demo today. In the River Valley, see River Valley Tractor on Weir Road in Russellville. Arkansas, power and auto service. We're more than just power. Consistent, responsive, honest and fair. What makes us different? We're the ones who care. Arkansas Tire and Auto Service, 2304 East Main, Russellville. Ten minutes and 45 seconds remaining at Tucker Coliseum. Arkansas Tech 58, Henderson State 39. Both of these teams trying to get to 3-0 and in conference play and stay tied with Southern Nazarene for the early lead in the Great American Conference men's basketball standings. I'll tell you what, if you shoot three-pointers like this every game, you're going to be at the top. Arkansas Tech, 10 of 21 from the Mr. Break and Lube three-point arc, including four out of six in the second half. Almost 50%. That's awesome. Frank Cam gained back in the game for Henderson State. He has it on the left wing. Dribbles up to the top of the key. Bounce pass on the right wing for Malik Riddle. Cross court to Miles. His post-entry feed deflected by Calvin Allen. And then a whistle and a foul as in the post as the Arkansas Tech defender was holding Tomislav Miholcic. Tommy Camerad picks up his third personal foul. Team foul number six. The Reddies will throw it in with 20 on the shot clock. Inbound for Miholcic. Miholcic goes to the rim. Can't make the left-handed layup. And Tommy Camerad gets the defensive rebound for Arkansas Tech. Wonder Boys into the front court. Allen dribbles at the top of the key. Gives right side for Mercera. Jonathan Mercera dribbles left. They swing it for Allen. Allen goes to the baseline. And an illegal screen set by Arkansas Tech's Jonathan Mercera. I think Mercera was anticipating Calvin Allen was going to go right, yeah. and he went left, and that got Mercera out of position to set the screen, and that's why he was moving on the pick. Yeah, he, he just got caught in no man's land right there. Alvin Miles into the front court. Pass to the left wing for Riddle. Open look at three. Air ball. Defensive rebound by Deshaun Davidson of Arkansas Tech. We go under 10 minutes to play. And Arkansas Tech enjoys a 58-39 lead. It was a 10-point spread at halftime. B.J. Johnson drive and dish. Left corner three, Davidson. Not there this time. Miholcic pushes Camerad to the floor to get the defensive rebound. Outlet pass for Cam Gain. Cam Gain to the rim. And a blocking foul against Arkansas Tech. Wow. 
B.J. Johnson tried to get himself set to take the charge, but instead he's called for the block. Johnson called for his first personal foul, team foul number eight. It'll be two free throws for Frank Camgain. And Coach Downey is going to get some of his front line players back in the game here in just a moment. Then quiet get set. Cam Gain to the line for the first time tonight. He is a 77% free throw shooter on the year. Cam Gain sixth in the league in free throw percentage among those with enough attempts to qualify. He makes the first free throw. Camarad, Allen, Mercera, Davidson all out for Arkansas Tech. Andre Lavelle, Nico Gosnell, Taylor Peter, and Darrell Roberts are back in. B.J. Johnson is the lone wonder boy who stays in the game on that exchange. Now Cam Gain. After making the first free throw, will try for his ninth point of the night, but he missed it, and B.J. Johnson gets the defensive rebound. 9.35 to go, Wonder Boys with the ball, and an 18-point lead. Taylor Peter gives top of the key for Nico Gosnell, hands it off to Lavelle, between the legs dribble, goes left, lobs it down low for Gosnell, Gosnell faces up, now he backs me, Holtich down on the left block, into the lane, leans in, goes to the rim, bank shot, no good, rebound, Henderson State. Malik Riddle got it. Outlet pass for Cam Gain. Cam Gain guarded by Darrell Roberts. 9.08 left in the game. Wonder Boys lead 58 to 40. Mason receives a pass on the right wing. Dribbles up to the top of the key. Guarded by Taylor Peter. Miholchit sets a screen. Pass in the corner for Riddle. Three pointer no good. Defensive rebound BJ Johnson. And the Wonder Boys will slow it down and run a half court set. Leading by 18 with under nine minutes to go. Lavelle over the timeline, defended by Alvin Miles. Behind the back dribble on the right wing, gives to Roberts. Touch pass ahead. He was expecting Nico to go to the rim, but he did not. Stolen by Miholchich. Ahead to Cam Gain. Layup good for Frank Cam Gain. Ten points for Cam Gain. Eight and a half minutes to play, and it's 58 42. The Arkansas Tech lead is 16. The Reddies have scored the last three points. Andre Lavelle dribbles on the right wing, poked away from him out of bounds by Alvin Miles. And the Wonder Boys will maintain possession with 17 on the shot clock. Taylor and Peter will make the inbound pass for Arkansas Tech. Here comes K.J. Stewart back into the game for the Reddies. He will replace Thomas Lofty Holchich. Taylor and Peter, inbound pass to Andre Lavelle, who leads Arkansas Tech in scoring tonight with 17 points. He's a perfect 5 out of 5 from the field. Peter, catch and shoot, right wing 3, too strong. Rebound, Gosnell tipped it to Davidson. Second shot, no good. Defensive rebound by Josh Mason of Henderson State. We go under eight minutes to play. Arkansas Tech leads 58-42. to From a momentum standpoint, a stop right here would not hurt the Wonder yeah. Boys business. Miles drives and dishes for Mason. Three-pointer is short, and the rebound is over top of the backboard, and Arkansas Tech will have possession when we come back. Seven minutes and 47 seconds to play. Arkansas Tech 58, Henderson State 42 at the Alathus Realty broadcast position. We pause for one minute. This is Wonder Boys Basketball. For over 70 years, Old South Restaurant at 1330 East Main Street in Russellville has been faithfully serving the River Valley. Whether it's starting your day with a good old-fashioned breakfast or helping you make it through the workday with a hearty home-style lunch and, of course, serving your family with a dinner that would even make your mama proud. Old South Restaurants on Main Street in Russellville. We're here for you. We're here for you, so come on by Old South. Heinz Finn and Son Incorporated reminds you, when you need new tires or auto repairs, Heinz Finn and Son has a well-trained staff to treat you like family. And their goal is always on customer service. It's the foundation of their business, which is why so many people in the River Valley call Heinz Finn and Son their tire shop. Find Heinz Finn and Son on Facebook, check out their reviews, and call 880-1222 to make an appointment today. Heinz Finn and Son, serving the River Valley for over 30 years and counting. Seven minutes and 47 seconds remaining. Arkansas Tech 58, Henderson State 42. Wonder Boys for the game, 19 of 41 from the field, 46%, including 10 of 23 from the Mr. Break and Loop three-point arc. Arkansas Tech 10 of 14 at the A Better Way Realty free throw line. Henderson State just 16 of 47 from the field, 34%. 
The Radies are 3 out of 14 from three-point range and 7 out of 12 at the free-throw line. Henderson State, a 30 to 29 rebounding edge. Turnovers are even at 12 apiece. Inbound pass deflected out by Henderson State as they set up full court pressure out of the timeout. Now the Wonder Boys will throw it in again, this time from the opposite side of the goal. Coach Downey calls for a different method of attack here. Shot clock. There we go. Inbound pass for Nico Gosnell. Back to Darrell Roberts. He finds his point guard, Andre Lavelle. And now Henderson State will back off and play man-to-man -man in the half court. 7.36 to go. Pass left wing for Darrell Roberts. He zips it down low to Gosnell. Spin move. Slam dunk. Slam dunk Nico Gosnell as he spun right around two defenders. And it is 60-42. Wonder Boys by 18. Now Lavelle pokes it away from Miles out of bounds. And the Reddies will maintain possession. The dunk by Nico Gosnell giving him nine points on the night. He's four out of five from the field. Inbound pass comes to Alvin Miles. Gives to Cam Gain. Now they swing it back to Miles on the left wing. 15 to shoot. Alvin Miles guarded by Andre Lavelle. Skip pass to a wide open Frank Cam Gain. Three-pointer good for Cam Gain. His second three-pointer of the night. He's got 13. 7.05 to go. And it's 60 to 45, Wonder Boys by 15. Yep, he got lost in the shuffle there. Lavelle over the timeline. Dribbles on the right wing and a reach in foul committed by Alvin Miles of Henderson State. Miles, first personal foul. Team foul, number five. And the Wonder Boys will throw it in from the near sideline. Six minutes and 53 seconds to go. Arkansas Tech 60, Henderson State 45. Gosnell is out. Tommy Camerad back in for the Wonder Boys. Camerad, Darrell Roberts, Deshaun Davidson, Taylor Peter. On the floor for Arkansas Tech. Inbound pass for Lavelle. Lavelle, Roberts, Camerad, Peter, and Davidson. Feed down low for Camerad. Layup up and good for Tommy Camerad. He's got seven points. 6.42 remaining. And Arkansas Tech leads 62.45. And then as Henderson State comes with a counterattack, Arkansas Tech commits a foul. They've got Tommy Camerad for the block. That's four on Tommy with 6.36 to go. Wonder Boys shorthanded in the post tonight due to the absence of Wes Harris with a concussion. And now Nico Gosnell after a brief rest. Hope he'll be back soon. Nico's going to have to check back in in place of Camerad. Tommy checks out with four fouls. Gosnell back in. Nico only with one foul in the game. It's a one and one opportunity. On team foul number nine against Arkansas Tech, the front end is no good for Alvin Miles. And the defensive rebound controlled for Arkansas Tech by Deshaun Davidson. Wonder Boys into the front court, leading by 17 with 6.25 to go, trying to get to 3 and 0. Oh. And Ty Southern Nazarene atop the GAC men's basketball standings. Drive by Lavelle. Throws it out to Roberts. Darrell Roberts for three. Too strong. Defensive rebound. Frank Cam Gain of Henderson State. Ready's push. Cam Gain to the rim. Layup no good. Defensive rebound. Talon Peter. Talon wants to take it the other way. He's got Gosnell on his left. Lobs it to him. Cannot complete the alley-oop. Defensive rebound by Alvin Miles. Just a little too far away. Miles into the front court, cut off, throws it right corner for Cam Gain, again open for three. This time he misses, rebound tipped around by Taylor Peter, but it's controlled for Henderson State by Miles. His three-pointer is good with 5.44 remaining. Timeout taken by Arkansas Tech. Five minutes and 43 seconds remaining. Arkansas Tech, 62, Henderson State, 48. At the Alathus Realty broadcast position, it is a 30-second break. This is Wonder Boys Basketball. Aletha's Realty is proud to support all of our local student athletes. At Aletha's Realty, we believe the community comes first, and there's nothing quite like community when cheering on your favorite team from the stands. Aletha's Realty is committed to provide our area with gold standard service in every aspect of your real estate transaction. So whether you're loading up to go to the game or settling in for an evening at home, you can rest assured Aletha's Realty is taking care of you. Call us today, 479-968-5668. Aletha's Realty, we put the real in real estate. On Facebook today. Arkansas Tech 62, Henderson State 48, 5 minutes and 43 seconds remaining. Both teams have two timeouts left. 
The next Arkansas Tech foul will put Henderson State into the double bonus. The Reddies still have one foul to give before they put Arkansas Tech into the one and one. If the possession arrow becomes a factor, it will favor Arkansas Tech. Wonder Boys with the basketball up by 14. Inbound pass to near midcourt for Nico Gosnell. He hands it off to Calvin Allen. Allen in the game to give Andre Lavelle a breather at point guard. Calvin dribbles on the Tech logo at midcourt. Here comes Gosnell with the ball screen. Calvin uses it to get to the right elbow. Cut off by two defenders. Throws to Peter. Left corner three is short. Might have been partially blocked by Cam Gain. Rebounded by Josh Mason. Allen pass for Miles. In his pass intended for a cam game, deflected by Taylor Peter, the Wonder Boys make the steal, and Arkansas Tech the other way with its 14-point lead intact. Calvin Allen, defended by Alvin Miles, goes to the top of the key. Shot clock at 16. Gosnell was ready with the screen. Allen didn't need it, though. He passes left wing for Darrell Roberts. Shot clock at 8. Roberts backs his defender down, leans in, 7-footer, good for Darrell Roberts. First two points of the game for Roberts, 4.51 remaining, and Arkansas Tech leads 64-48. Alvin Miles picks up his dribble, gives left wing for Malik Riddle. Riddle, one of eight from the field tonight, gives left wing for Mason. Mason gets by his defender, but then B.J. Johnson recovers to block the floater out of bounds. And Henderson State will maintain possession with 12 on the timer. Andre Lavelle is back in. Taylor Peter gets a breather. Good recovery by Johnson that time. They lob it in to Miholcic. Miholcic draws a double team. Now he backs Gosnell down, throws it out to the left wing, intended for Mason, off target, turnover Henderson State, and the Wonder Boys get the basketball back with four minutes and 25 seconds to play. Henderson State commits its 14th turnover of the game. It'll be Andre Lavelle to bring it into the front court. Lavelle over the timeline, hands it off to Darrell Roberts. He leaves it with B.J. Johnson. Now lob the high post for Nico Gosnell. Gosnell back to Lavelle on a give and go. Shot blocked by Miholcic. Lavelle gets his own rebound. Out to Calvin Allen. Shot clock at 10. 4.03 left in the game. Gosnell sets the pick. Allen drives. 14-footer. No good. Rebound tipped around. Loose ball far side. Mason gets it for Henderson State. Reddy's on the run. Mason fakes the pass. Goes to the rim. Lays it in. Josh Mason with nine points. Adding to his season high total. 3.49 remaining. It's 64 to 50, Arkansas Tech. Ahead to B.J. Johnson. Johnson over the timeline. They run a blitz at him. He passes out of it to Darrell Roberts. 3.35 to go. Wonder Boys by 14. Roberts defended by Malik Riddle. Bad pass into the lane. Intercepted by Thomas Loft Miholcic. Miholcic ahead to Cam Gain. Layup good for Frank Cam Gain. He's got 15 points. 3.22 remaining. 64-52. The Arkansas Tech lead is down to 12. And the Wonder Boys call timeout. Three minutes and 15 seconds remaining in Russellville. Arkansas Tech 64, Henderson State 52 at the Alathus Realty broadcast position. It is a one-minute break, or at least it should be stretched to a media timeout. We'll just take a 30-second break in case. Back in 30 seconds. Nope, now they've changed their mind. It will be a one-minute break. This is Arkansas Tech basketball. This is Todd, market president with Centennial Bank. We're more than just a financial institution. We pride ourselves on being community focused and connected. Hi, I'm Charlie, business development officer with Centennial Bank. As a lifelong resident of the River Valley, I am proud to be part of a team that brings passion, pride, and dedication to our communities. Supporting our community starts with people like myself and Charlie, who know and love the River Valley area, which is why we're always banking with you in mind. Centennial Bank is proud to support the place we call home. NMLS number 564245, member FDIC. The heater broke down, I had to act fast. We did some wilds, I broke the thermostat. My wife got cold and nose started to freeze. She said, hey man, got a call at actuallyair.com. The heater breaks down, they're the one you want. Actuallyair.com. The fast and the good and they got it going on. Technician showed up the very same day. Got the kids riding fast, he was on his way. Next time your heater breaks, you know who to call. There's only one choice. Actuallyair.com. Three minutes and 15 seconds to go in the second half. Arkansas Tech 64, Henderson State 52. Tommy Camerad, Andre Lavelle, B.J. Johnson, Nico Gosnell, and Taylor Peter break the huddle for Arkansas Tech. Taylor Peter to make the inbound pass. Looking, Gosnell flashes out high, makes the catch. 
Shot clock at 21, hand off to Andre Lavelle. Lavelle guarded by Alvin Miles. Goes right, gets to the right block, cut off by two defenders, throws it out to Gosnell. He hands it back to Lavelle. Shot clock at 10, three minutes left. Could use a bucket here. Lavelle drives, gets to the rim, left-handed layup, good! Andre Lavelle adds to his season high total. He's got 19 points, a huge bucket with 2.52 left to make it 66-52 and at least momentarily stem the tide of Henderson State's momentum. Now a whistle and a foul against Arkansas Tech. B.J. Johnson called for a hack across the wrist. Talon Peter thought he had a steal and on his way to a slam dunk on the other end, but instead they call the foul on B.J. Johnson. His second is the team's tenth, and so Henderson State will be in the double bonus the rest of the way. Two minutes and 43 seconds remaining. The first of two for Alvin Miles is good. Miles now three out of four at the free throw line tonight. That is his tenth point. Frank Camgain leads the Reddies in scoring with 15. He and Miles are the only two Henderson State players in double figures tonight. The Wonder Boys have four in double figures, led by Andre Lavelle with 19. The second free throw is no good, and Talon Peter has the defensive rebound for Arkansas Tech. Two minutes and 38 seconds to go. Wonder Boys with the ball up by 13. Pick set by Gosnell. Lavelle goes right, throws it left wing for Davidson. Back to Lavelle on the right wing. 15 to shoot. Andre into the lane. Bounce pass for Gosnell right at his feet. Bad pass stolen by Josh Mason of Henderson State. Now it's Cam Gain. Cam Gain carried the basketball, got away with it. Passes right wing for Riddle. Riddle throws it away, stolen by Lavelle. Lavelle ahead to Peter. Peter gathers it, tail into the rim. Layup, no good, but a blocking foul on Henderson State. Josh Mason was in the restricted area. A blocking foul and two shots at the A Better Way Realty free throw line for Taylor and Peter. Andre Lavelle has been a huge difference maker in this okay, game, well, and he did sure it again has. right there with that steal. Taylor Peter to the free throw line where he's four out of six, or excuse me, three out of four so far tonight. First of two is good for Taylor yeah, Peter. He's, on, he's done a lot of things you don't write down the scorebook. Fifteenth point for Peter. He will have one more. Two minutes and nine seconds to go. Second free throw for Peter is good. It is 68-53, Wonder Boys by 15 with 2.08 to go. Taylor Peter and Andre Lavelle have combined for 35 of the Wonder Boys, 68 points here tonight. Miholchich layup good with a minute 57 left, and Henderson State calls timeout. Arkansas Tech leads 68-55, a minute 55 to go. At the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we pause for 30 seconds. This is Wonder Boys basketball. Liberty Car Wash in Russellville, you have options. You can wash your car yourself or drive through one of the automatic car washes. Liberty Car Wash also gives you the option of washing your fur baby. Why make a mess in your home and risk clogging your drains when you can wash Max at Liberty Car Wash? Visit Liberty Car Wash today on Knoxville Avenue and South Arkansas Avenue in Russellville, where you always have options. One minute and 55 seconds remaining in the second half. Arkansas Tech leading 68 to 55. It'll be Tommy Camerad, Nico Gosnell, Talon Peter, Deshaun Davidson, and Andre Lavelle for the Wonder Boys. Frank Camgain, Malik Riddle, Alvin Miles, Ryan Boyce, who hasn't played a lot here in the second half, and Josh Mason, the five for Henderson State. Inbound pass for Lavelle. They try to trap him. He throws over it to Davidson. Now into the front court intended for Taylor and Peter, but off target and stolen by Alvin Miles. Reddy's the other way. Down by 13. Mason for three short. No good. Rebound tipped around. Saved for Henderson by Riddle. Poked away from him. Saved for Cam Gain. Reverse layup no good, but a whistle and a foul against Arkansas Tech. And two free throws for the Reddies with a minute 37 left. Tommy Camerad is fouled out of the game. He fouls out with 1.37 to go. Amarad exits with seven points and four rebounds. He is replaced by B.J. Johnson. The Wonder Boys will have to go a little small the rest of the way now, again, without the services of Wes Harris tonight due to a concussion. Frank Cam gained to the free throw line where he is one out of two tonight and a 77% shooter this season, a career 71% free throw shooter, short, no good on the first try for Cam Gain. 
He will have another attempt. 68-55 is the Arkansas Tech lead. With a minute 57 to go. The second one is good. 68-56 now. Wonder Boys by 12 with a minute 37 left. Taylor and Peter will make the inbound pass. Defended by Cam Gain, gets it into Lavelle. Andre Lavelle back to Peter. Taylor and Peter ahead to Deshaun Davidson. Deshaun is start making some progress toward the timeline. Does so with the pass to Taylor and Peter. Now to B.J. Johnson. Johnson goes to the rim and draws a foul against Ryan Boyce. Boyce picks up his third personal foul. And B.J. Johnson, a career 57% free throw shooter, will be at the line for two shots from the A Better Way Realty free throw line. With a minute 26 left. And Arkansas Tech leading 68 to 56. Johnson is four out of six, 67% at the free throw line this season. This is his first trip to the line tonight. He has not scored in the game, but he has five rebounds and two assists. First free throw is off the back iron, no good. He'll have one more try. Arkansas Tech, 12 of 17 at the free throw line tonight, 71%. Well above their season average as a team of 62%. Another try for Johnson. The second try is good, and it's 69-56, Arkansas Tech. A minute 26 to go. Alvin Miles with the basketball in the backcourt. Gets it over the timeline. Under duress from Deshaun Davidson. Goes all the way to the rim. Nico Gosnell blocks the first try, but Miholcic there to clean it up. Put back by Miholcic with a minute 15 to go. Cuts the Arkansas Tech lead to 69-58. to And Henderson State uses its final timeout. Wonder Boys by 11. Back to the Alathus Realty broadcast position in one minute. This is Arkansas Tech basketball. We have sort of a hidden gem right here in the Arkansas River Valley. Central Arkansas Surgical Center of Russellville. They're high on the hill at the intersection of Highway 7 and Interstate 40. We're talking quality local surgeons in a variety of capacities who can help you when it comes time for surgery. It's not a hospital. It's a surgical center. Central Arkansas Surgical Center. Inquire today by logging on to centralarkansasurgical.com or call them at 967-1117. If your business's telephone system, alarm system, cabling, or even CCTV aren't up to date, your business is not secure. Tracer Communications is a one-stop shop for new and existing businesses that value honesty, hard work, and quality solutions. So you can save time and money and focus on your business while they take care of your phone and security systems. And that saves you money and protects your investment. So call your local Tracer Communications at 890-6499 to set up an appointment or visit Tracer.com. Com for a full list of services today. One minute and 15 seconds remaining. Arkansas Tech 69, Henderson State 58. Wonder Boys with the basketball. Taylor Peter makes the inbound pass to Andre Lavelle. Back to Peter. Now across the timeline for B.J. Johnson. They foul Johnson with one minute and eight seconds to go. And he will be shooting a one and one on team foul number nine against Henderson State. This will be the final one and one of the game. And it will be attempted by B.J. Johnson, who is one out of two at the free throw line tonight. If we get these two, it'll be awful tough for Henderson. Front end for the sophomore from El Dorado is good. Rattled at home. Clutch free throw by B.J. Johnson for his second point of the night. We'll have another opportunity here with one minute and eight seconds remaining. EJ's second free throw is no good. Back lip, defensive rebound by Frank Camgain. Reddy's the other way, down by 12 with one minute and three seconds to go. Camgain, full head of steam all the way to the rim, lays it in. 18 points for Camgain. We go under a minute to play. Full court pressure by the Reddies. Inbound pass to B.J. Johnson. They trap him. He throws it away. Pass stolen by Josh Mason. Mason waits for help. Throws it out left wing for Riddle for three. It's short. Rebound, Arkansas Tech. Taylor Peter, outlet for Lavelle, and Andre Lavelle will stuff it through. 21 points for Andre Lavelle. 45 seconds remaining, and the Wonder Boys lead 72 to 60. Into the front court, Cam Game. Stops on the left wing. Hands it off there for Malik Riddle. Reddy's using a lot of time here. Time they do not have at this juncture. And now a whistle. I believe we may have an injured ready. I think Alvin Miles is shaken up. 
may have taken an accidental finger to the eye or something. He's kind of rubbing at his right eye area. He's going to have to check out, replaced by Chase Smith. Certainly hope he's okay. I never saw it. Inbound pass for Miholchich. Miholchich fakes left, goes right, and makes it. 28.5 seconds left. Cuts the Arkansas Tech lead to 72-62. to 62. And then on the inbound pass, a whistle and an offensive foul on B.J. Johnson as he pushed off on Josh Mason to try to get free to receive the inbound pass. They call the push on B.J. Johnson. That's an offensive foul that will give the ball back to Henderson State with 28.1 seconds remaining. Inbound pass comes to Cam Gain. Frank Cam Gain from 10 feet. Short, no good, but a whistle and a foul. Another foul on B.J. Johnson. This one will be... Oh, correction, they got it on Lavelle instead. Andre Lavelle picks up that one. It is his third personal foul. And Frank Cam gained to the free throw line with 26.3 seconds remaining. First of two is short, no good for Cam Gain. He is now two out of five at the free throw line. A second try forthcoming for the senior guard from Kansas City. He missed them both. Got his own rebound, though. Put back try, no good. Miholchich gets the offensive rebound, and he's fouled on the way up with 21.7 seconds remaining. The Wonder Boys are probably going to win, but they're not earning a lot of style points on their no, way out the door here. No, they're sure not. Miholchich to the free throw line for two shots. Miholchich, two out of three at the line tonight. He's got 12 points and seven rebounds. First try is good. High bounce off the back iron and through. Cuts the Arkansas Tech lead into single digits at 72-63. A second try forthcoming for Miholchich. 21.7 seconds to go. Wonder Boys trying to hang on for a 3-0 start to conference play. Miholchich makes the second one. Henderson State is out of timeouts. Arkansas Tech has one if it needs it. Possession arrow would favor the Wonder Boys on a held ball. Both teams are in the double bonus. Taylor Peter to make the inbound pass. He can run the baseline. It's deflected by Malik Riddle. Riddle saves it inbound to Chase Smith, but Smith cannot quite gather it before it goes out of bounds on the baseline. And the Wonder Boys having all sorts of trouble oh, closing this one out. They're making it hard on us. 18.4 seconds left now. Wonder Boys by eight. Need a clean inbound pass here. Get it into Sean Davidson. They trap him. Bounce pass back to Taylor Peter. And they foul Taylor Peter with 15 seconds remaining. Peter, five out of six at the free throw line tonight. Will be shooting two with 15 seconds to go. Well... The board already was showing nine team fouls on Henderson. But apparently that's only the ninth oh, one. one, and one. It was one off. The board had already put nine, so this, by that count, would have been the tenth. But this is a one and one for Taylor Peter. He makes the front end. It won't matter. He makes the front end of the one and one. And so he gets two shots anyway at the a better way realty free throw line. Another try now for Taylor. If he seeks, but does not get. Oh. His 18th point of the night. Rebound Henderson. 10 seconds left. Wonder Boys by nine. Cam gain to Mason for three. It is no good. Defensive rebound to Sean Davidson, and that will do it. The Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys move into a tie for first place in the Great American Conference standings with a 73-64 to win over Henderson State at the Alathus Realty broadcast position. We pause for 30 seconds and then come back to talk it over with Coach Downey. Wonder Boys win. This is Arkansas Tech Basketball. A solid roof for your business is key to keeping your employees' products and valuables dry and clean. If you're experiencing roof leaks that are resulting in damaged equipment, stained ceilings and walls, then don't let Mother Nature get the best of your business. The folks at ENF Roofing offer free commercial roof inspections, but their experience is priceless for your business. Not to lose productivity and extend the life of your roof. So contact ENF Roofing today for a free commercial inspection at 479-272-4069. Back with you at the Alathus Realty Broadcast position at Tucker Coliseum in Russellville where the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys have won their fifth consecutive game. They start conference play 3-0. and They're 5-4 and overall. And the Wonder Boys move into a first place tie with Southern Nazarene 
atop the Great American Conference standings three games into this 22-game marathon to determine a champion in Great American Conference men's basketball. But as they say, you can't win them all if you don't win the first three. And the Wonder Boys are off to a great start in league play, including the 73-64 win tonight over the Henderson State Reddies as Arkansas Tech head coach Mark Downey on his way over to our broadcast position now to talk it over. Not before he has one more brief conversation with Nico Gosnell. And what a win tonight, especially in the absence of Wes Harris, who was out due to concussion. He's been one of the Wonder Boys' two best players all years. All year, and the Wonder Boys had to get it done without him. Coach Downey still teaching Nico Gosnell on how to hedge a ball screen, I think, here at the top of the key. That lesson, uh, then Coach will come over and visit with us. But into that void tonight stepped several Wonder Boys, first and foremost, Andre Lavelle. And we will talk it over now with Mark Downey, head coach of the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys, after this 73-64 win over Henderson State, the fifth consecutive win for the Wonder Boys. And, Coach, we saw every bit of Andre Lavelle's talent here tonight. 21 points on seven of eight shooting from the floor. He was three out of three from three point, four of six from the free throw line. Made a huge defensive play down here at one point to kind of give you a little bit of a cushion. He was just solid all night long. Yeah, he's, uh, he's coming. He, he earns it. He deserves it. He's in here all the time. He's in here working on his game. And, um, you know, we've, we've been waiting to see that from a lot of people, and it just takes time. It's just a process. Um, you know, Nico's finding his way, but um, it is. It's good to see Dre play like that because that's what, we, uh, that's what we knew we were getting when we brought him here. You mentioned a couple of weeks ago that uh, Calvin Allen sometimes suffers from a little bit of old man body. I think another guy in that category is Deshaun Davidson. Yeah. Uh, but Deshaun tonight gets you 11 points and five rebounds. I look up and down the, that box score there, and just up and down the line, everybody rebounded the basketball. You ended up minus seven, but you got good contributions in that category up and down. It's good to see guys like Taylor Peter getting seven rebounds, Deshaun getting five. If they can keep doing that, uh, then that bears well for the rest of the way. Yeah, I mean, you know, we do get out rebounded. I don't like that. They got 17 offensive rebounds, but you know, one of our best defensive rebounders sitting over there on the bench. So, um, you know, hopefully we can we can get him back and cure that a little bit. Um, but, hey, I, it, we fought tonight. We really did. I, I thought we were bad late. We turned it over too much. We're still learning how to win. But we luckily had a little bit of a cushion there that we could we could push it out. So uh, that's, a, that's a good win. That's a good basketball team. It feels like the rhythm is starting to come offensively. When you just watch the guys get into their half-court sets, you know, being able to understand who the open guy is and find that guy, all those kind of things that a good offensive team does, starting to see more and more evidence of all of that. Yeah, if we can shoot 10 for 25, 40% for the year from three, uh, we're going to be a tough out. Um, we haven't been doing that. Um, we've, you know, 15 to 22 from the line. I'll, with this team, <laughs> I take that every night because um, we've been struggling there too, you know. So it's it just good to see him. I kept telling him, I said, hey, we got guys that can shoot the ball. If you just keep Keep playing and keep trusting yourself and keep deserving it by getting in the gym on your own. Uh, we're going to start making them, and uh, tonight we did. Well, we've had a chance lately to talk about a lot of fun first in a long time. This is the first five-game winning streak for the Wonder Boys since they won eight in a row from November 2017 through January of 2018. And then this one is a little bit special. This is the first time in the Great American Conference era that the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys have started 3-0. The last 3-0 and start in conference play uh, was the last year of the Gulf South Conference back in 2010-2011. I'm going to have to go some to catch that group. They won their first 13 conference yeah, games. Yeah. But, uh, but anyway, uh, it's, it's special to be 3-0, and it's special to be tied. It, I know there's still 19 games left. It doesn't really mean anything right now. Uh, but coming where you come from uh, to be 3-0 and to start conference play is, is something uh, just a, a great achievement by this group. Yeah, it is. And we just got to keep playing one at a time. That's all it's about. Um, and that's how they've been. Um, I've tried to focus on that more with them. And uh, we just keep talking about that relentless pursuit of perfection. And, um, you know, just keep going after it. Just keep trying to get better every day. And I got to push them sometimes with that, um, you know, especially when you have nine days off. <laughs> but um, it, 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 they're getting it. And they're fighting. And they're, they're, they're letting me coach them. Um, even when I'm crazy sometimes, they're letting me coach them. And it's a fun group to be around. They're starting to take on your personality a little bit. A little bit. It's coming. It's coming. That's, that's fun to watch. That's the most fun to watch, I think. So. Um, yeah, we're getting it. We're getting it. But I told him right there, you know, when we were at half court, um, we, we've got to, we can't relax. We've got to keep bringing it every day with a chip on our shoulder, and we, we can't let success get to our head. So uh, we haven't done anything yet. You know, like you said, there's 19 games left. We're 3-0 in the league. We haven't done anything yet. we got to keep fighting. All right, Coach, we'll see you Saturday in Magnolia. Thank you, Sam. I appreciate it. And 
Give God all the glory. He's such a great and powerful God. That is Mark Downey, the head men's basketball coach at Arkansas Tech University, following a 73-64 win over Henderson State. Let's take a look at the final numbers. The Reddies were 24 of 63 from the field, 38%. Coach always says 39% wins. Well, did one better than that tonight, 38% on the field goal percentage of defense tonight for the Wonder Boys. Henderson State was 5 of 20, 25% from three-point range. And the Reddies, 11 of 21, 52% at the free throw line. Arkansas Tech, 24 of 51 from the field. That's 47%, including 10 out of 25, a season high. 10 made three-pointers tonight for the Wonder Boys. 10 out of 25 from the Mr. Break and Lube three-point arc. That's 40%. And the Wonder Boys were 15 of 22 at the A Better Way, a Better Way Realty free throw line. That is 68%. Henderson State had a 42 to 35 rebounding edge tonight. The Reddies with 